No, Mr. Hippo. Yes, Mr. Hippo. Jeffy, Mr. Hippo's huge. He's taking up the whole couch. But me and Mr. Hippo want to watch TV. But Jeffy, I was watching TV. But me and Mr. Hippo want to watch Animal Planet. No, Jeffy, I was watching TV. <coughs> what, Jeffy, <coughs> stop. Stop. <coughs> stop it. Daddy, if you don't turn on Animal Planet, then me and Mr. Hippo are going to keep going. <coughs> oh, okay, fine. I'll turn on Animal Planet. <sighs> Breaking news, okay? World-renowned scientist, Dr. Frederick Finkelsheets, has an exclusive interview with an alien inside Area 51. Let's go to that now. Hello! I am Dr. Frederick Finkelsheets, and today I am coming to you live from Area 51, where I have an exclusive interview with a real alien! Now, this alien crash-landed 72 years ago in Roswell, New Mexico in 1947. Now, tell us, alien, where are you from? Oh, yes, I see. He is from the West Side. <laughs> yes, yes, quite. Now, alien, tell us, what happens at night that caused you to crash your spaceship? I see, yes, yes, you were driving your spaceship. Yes, and you, you were spanking someone. Yes, and then it, it was a bumpy ride. No, not a, not a bumpy. Uh, 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 your, your seat was very bouncy. No, hmm, okay. You you were doing pull-ups. Yes, not pull-ups. Hmm. You, you, were, you, were clap, you were clapping something. Clap, clap. You were clapping something. What were you clapping? You were clapping a alien cheeks. Yes, you, you were clapping alien cheeks. You heard it here first, folks. This alien crashed his spaceship in Roswell because he was clapping alien cheeks. Now, some of you may be worried that this dangerous alien might escape. But do not worry. He can't escape because he is handcuffed. Show them. <laughs> the alien got out of the handcuff. It appears the feed has cut off. Wait. I'm getting word now that the alien has escaped Area 51 and the police are searching for him now. They're telling us that he's extremely dangerous and we should all remain indoors. If you see something, don't hesitate to call 911 immediately. Oh no, an alien escaped. Jeffy, that alien could try to clap our cheeks. Should we hide Mr. Hippo? Cause Mr. Hippo got that wagon. Oh man, Jeffy, Mr. Hippo is dummy thick. Should probably turn around before I act up. All right, daddy. I'm thinking about it now, Area 51 is pretty far away from Florida, so we don't have to really worry about the alien. Daddy, me and Mr. Hippo are hungry. Can you order us a pizza? Jeffy, hippos don't eat pizza. Hippos need to eat something they find in the wild, like green beans. Daddy, where is the hippo going to find a can of green beans in the wild? It's not going to be in a can, Jeffy. It would just be regular green beans. Pizza! Fine, Jeffy. I'll order pizza. Just, just continue watching the animal planet. All right, Daddy. The hippo is the second largest animal on Earth. The first largest is your mother. All right, Jeffy, I just ordered the pizza. What if I want wings? You're not getting wings. I already ordered and I only got pizza. Wings. You're not getting wings, Jeffy. Wings. What's that? That can't be the pizza. That was way too fast. Well, Daddy, can I enter the door? <sighs> Fine, Jeffy. Here's $5. Oh, you're going to pay me to go get my pizza? Wait, no, no, Jeffy, that's for the pizza man. I am the pizza man, Daddy. I eat the pizza, and so they call me the pizza man. No, no, no Jeff, Jeffy, no. Whoever's at the door, you give them that $5, okay? <sighs> Fine, Daddy. <sighs> Hello? Ah, an alien! Oh, 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 you want me to be quiet? Oh, well, here's five bucks. My daddy told me to give it to you. Why don't you go get a hotel with it? Oh, do you want to stay here? Oh, well, if you'll be really quiet, I think I have a place for you to hide. Come on. Okay, just hide in this closet and don't make any noise, okay? Hey, daddy. Where hippo? What? Where hippo? Hippo there. Where pizza? Who? Where's the pizza? What pizza? The pizza that was at the door, Jeffy. There wasn't a pizza at the door. Then who was at the door? SpongeBob. No, Patrick. Wait. Squidward, final answer. Squidward was not at the door, Jeffy. Who was at the door? Squidward. What? Oh, great. One of the light bulbs went out. Let me just go get the ladder. Wait, the ladder? Okay. <sighs> okay, let me get this ladder. <sighs> oh, man, who's at the door? <sighs> Man, Mr. Squidward, that was close. We gotta find somewhere else for you to hide. Follow me. Uh, hello? Hey there, I got a pizza for you. Whoa, whoa, I don't know what's in this thing. Uh, I'm just kidding, it's a pizza. I just like to keep things fun. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't have a tip for you. My son took your tip money. Oh, okay. What? What? There you go. What? Yeah, thanks for the tip. What? Enjoy your pizza. Well, why would you do that? Uh, oh. Oh, I wish I could do that, but I need this job. So no tip, huh? No. All right, here's your pizza. Sorry. Yeah. 
Alright, Mr. Squidward, I got another place for you to hide. Underneath this couch cushion. Oh, you can dig? Come on! Jackie, the pizza's here! Oh no! My daddy's coming! We gotta find another place for you to hide! You turned into me? Jeffy! Oh, we gotta hide! My daddy's coming! Jeffy, there's pizza downstairs! Wait, Jeffy! Why do you look like that? You don't look so good, Jeffy! Are you feeling sick? Jeffy, you answer me when I'm talking to you! Jeffy, speak! Wait, Jeffy, don't raise your voice at me! Wait, Jeffy, stop! Wait, Jeffy! <laughs> oh, Jeffy, like, come on, it's time to go eat! <gasps> my dad thinks that's me? Oh, well, well, now I don't have to go to school or do my chores or anything. I'm gonna go sit in the closet and play Minecraft. All right, Jeffy, here's the pizza you wanted. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, pizza. Yeah. All right, Jeffy, now eat up. Yeah, 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 yeah. Eat it. <laughs> Jeffy, you just threw up all over your pizza. Are you sick? Blah, 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 blah. Oh, Jeffy, I know what you're doing. You're trying to fake being sick so you don't have to go to school tomorrow. You're still going to school tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jeffy, go to bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I cannot believe he threw up all over his pizza. <sighs> Jeffy, it's time to go to school. Jeffy, wake up. It's time to go to school. Yeah, beep, 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 beep. Jeffy, it's time to go to school. <laughs> Jeffy, stop it. You're not faking sick, so you don't have to go to school. You're going to school, okay? Yeah. Go to school, Jeffy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go to school. <sighs> all right, class. Today, we're going to be learning about aliens. There are two types of aliens. Riddle green guys who fly around in spaceships and, hmm, you know, like, run, 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 Arriba! you know, Canadians. Any questions, Cross? Hey, freak! Blah! You look like an alien because of how ugly you are. Blah! What are you looking at, you bug-eyed freak? <laughs> Blah! <laughs> Another student, Crass. If you sick, you gotta go to the bathroom. Jeffy, go to the nurse's office right now. School? Why is Jeffy's school calling me? Hope everything's okay. Hello? Hello? This is school nurse. My name is Chiquita, like the banana. Okay. Uh, is Jeffy all right? No. Your baby's sick. He throwing up green stuff, and his thumb fell off. What? His thumb fell off? Is he even alive? Oh, hold on, baby. Let me check his heart beeps. No, baby, he sleep. Sleep? What do you mean he sleep? Well, he ain't got no heart beeps, but he's still breathing, though. I think you should come pick him up and take him home. Okay, I'll be there soon. <laughs> I see you soon. That's your daddy. He coming to pick you up. <sighs> Jeffy, I can't believe your thumb came off at school today. You're not in any pain? I guess you really are sick. Who's that? Oh, you're staring here, Jeffy. Yeah. Uh, hello? Oh, hey there. Oh, the cops. Oh, the cops. Okay, yeah, it's such a harsh term. Okay, how about officer? Huh, how about that? What do you want, officer? That's better. All right, now you heard about the alien that broke out of Area 51? Oh, yeah, I saw it on the news. Yeah, well, this tracker here on my phone says he's at your house. What? He's not here. Well, I believe the tracker more than I believe you, because you don't tip when I deliver you pizzas. Well, I haven't seen an alien in my house. Well, I have probable cause, so that means I get to come in and mess up your house looking for him. Well, please don't mess it up. Can you do it, like, really neat? I will promise no such thing. See, look, there's no aliens in here. Just my son and my son's thumb that fell off. What, your son's thumb fell off? Yeah. And that didn't seem weird to you? No, people's thumbs fall off all the time. But no, no, they really don't. They don't? No! Well, well, he's not in any pain. Well, that's even weirder. If your thumb falls off, it should probably hurt a lot. Well, maybe Jeffy doesn't feel a lot of pain. Okay, look, sometimes aliens can morph into people to disguise themselves. And the tracker on my phone says the alien is definitely somewhere inside your house. So I'm thinking the alien just morphed into your son to hide himself. Well, look, I know that's my son. I know Jeffy. That's 100% Jeffy. What are you talking about? It doesn't even look like him. He's all pale, and his eyes are all bugged out, and he's got a big nose. Jeffy always looks like that. What? No, he doesn't. O okay, look. I have a test that can definitely prove if he's an alien or not. Okay, give him the test, then. It's the alien test. Everyone who comes in the United States has to pass this test. All right. All right. First question. Who is the current president of the United States? Boop. Boop. 
poop. Well, he's not completely wrong. Okay, next question. What year was the Declaration of Independence signed? How is he supposed to know that? Are you kidding me? Everybody knows that. Well, I don't even know the answer. Well, take a guess. Uh, 1942? 1942? No! I should be giving you this test. That's completely wrong. Well, when was it signed? 1776. What, that long ago? Yeah, that long ago. Okay, give him another question. Okay, last question. Jeffy, are you an alien? Yep. He, he didn't say yup. He, he, he didn't know. He meant nope. He doesn't know the questions you're asking. It's stupid. Jeffy, we don't have time for this. Let's get out of here. Ah! Did your son just come apart at the waist? Yeah. What is he, Darth Maul? I feel like I'm at a Chris Angel show. What, Jeffy, what, that, that didn't hurt. Yeah, he did, dude. Nope. No, he seems fine. I, I think he might be an alien. Yeah, you think? Oh, okay, okay. How, how do we know if he's an alien or not? Okay, well, everybody knows that aliens hate water. So, all you gotta do is just squirt him a few times with a spray bottle and he'll lose his disguise. Oh, do it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Aha! I knew he was the alien! I would've never noticed! Yeah, because you're blind. You would've clapped your cheeks and you never would've seen it coming. All right, alien, we're going back to Area 51. Now, uh, here, you, you cuff yourself. I don't really feel like doing it. All right, I'm taking him back to Area 51. Are you sure you have to take him back? But, yeah, what are you talking about? He's a dangerous alien. He melted a kid at school today with his acid puke. Yeah, I guess he is pretty dangerous. Yeah, all right, come on, alien, we're going back. Yeah, yeah, all that. <sighs> Today's been a weird day. Hey, Daddy, we're Hippo. No, we're Jeffy. Jeffy here, we're Hippo. N no, where Jeffy been? In your closet playing Minecraft, we're Hippo. I, I don't know where Hippo. Dare Hippo. Guys, I saw the coolest movie in the world last night and I want to imitate it. Dude, what was it? Up. Up. Oh. oh, like the Pixar movie. Yeah, this old guy, he like wants his house to fly, so he ties a bunch of balloons to his house and his house actually flies, so I want my house to fly. Look, you can't really do that, Junior. That was just a movie. What? Yeah, I can. Balloons make stuff go in the air, so if I put enough balloons on my house, it'll go in the air. Well, maybe, but it would take, like, millions of balloons. So we're just gonna get millions of balloons. Well, how are you gonna get millions of balloons? <laughs> you buy it? Yeah, what an idiot. Like, he's so dumb. He acts like he doesn't know what money is. Dude, it's like only two cents for balloons. Yeah, so it's like only like 20 bucks. <laughs> he's what? supposed to be the smart one. I know. Junior, just because you see something in a movie doesn't mean you can really do it. It happened in a movie, Cody, so that means it can really happen. They don't make movies about stuff that doesn't happen. Well, yes, they do. They do it all the time. Like, what about Star Wars? That actually happened. It happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. They even tell you in the beginning, Cody, it's history. Okay, fine. So look, you're, you're telling me that every Pixar movie didn't actually happen, so you're telling me that there's like Ratatouille. There's not a restaurant in France that's like ran by rats? Well, yeah, no, that did not happen. So monsters don't come out of your closet to collect your screams? Yeah, but th that happens. But no, it doesn't. No, yes, it does, Cody. Yes, it does, dude. My uncle comes out of my closet to collect my screams all the time. Exactly. Look, look, look Cody, we're gonna prove to you. Come on, let's go look at my closet. I bet you're gonna see the monster universe. I see my uncle. All right, guys, we're about to open my closet. You ready to see a bunch of monsters trying to collect our screams so they can feed their families? Dude, I gotta warn you guys first. My Uncle Larry, uh, he doesn't like to wear pants. He's a goofball. Guys, there's not gonna be anything in that closet but clothes. Well, if my Uncle Larry's in that closet, there would not be any clothes. Alright, look guys, guys, we're gonna open the door and we're gonna see a bunch of monsters on the laugh floor. Oh wait, I forgot! They collect our laughs now. So Cody, when we prove you wrong, we're all gonna laugh at you so we can give them a bunch of energy. Oh yeah. Alright, say hi to Mike Wazowski! <laughs> I told you. Oh, great. They shredded our door. What? Or there were no monsters in there to begin with. No, they heard about our plan that we were going to expose them, so they shredded our door because they didn't want us to find out about the monster world. Oh, dude, I hate when that happens. Well, Cody, why would you do this? Whatever. Wow, guys, I can't believe I'll never see Mike Wazowski do stand-up in my room ever again because they shredded my door. Again? Yeah, Mike Wazowski always came in my room and did jokes. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I want to blow up a bunch of balloons so my house can fly. I want to go to space. Junior, there's not enough balloons in the world to send your house to space. I have a bunch of balloons downstairs, Cody, and we're going to blow up some balloons and prove you wrong yet again. Uh, wait, ag again? You didn't prove me wrong about the monsters. <sighs> oh, this is going to take forever. Joseph, how many balloons have you blown up? Only one, dude. I'm getting lightheaded. <sighs> me too. Junior, this isn't going to work. You don't have the right kind of balloons. What are you talking about? You need helium balloons. These are rubber balloons. No, no, Junior, helium is what goes inside the balloons. It's a gas. Oh, Joseph, we're supposed to be farting in the balloons. Start farting in them. Oh, I can do that. <sighs> Wait, no, 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 Junior, you don't <sighs> fart in the balloons. You, you have to mine for helium. You have to mine for it? Yes. You're mine, helium. You're mine. Yeah, you gotta want it. You're mine. No. Claim it. Oh my God. Come here, helium. You're yeah, mine. Own it. Junior, you have to drill for helium in the earth. Why? Because it comes out of rocks. 
Oh, we have to collect rock farts? Oh. Wait, Joseph, do you still have Dwayne The Rock Johnson's number? No, I lost it, dude. Oh, we could really use his farts right now. I know. All right, so we can just go buy helium balloons, right? Well, I mean, yeah. But Come on, Joseph, we're gonna buy some balloons. Okay. But Junior, that's... All right, Cody, we bought a bunch of helium balloons. You bought three. Well, well, the guy in the movie used regular balloons. These have characters on them, so they're more powerful. What? The minions made so much money in the box office, you know how much weight that is to carry? Wait, Junior, it doesn't matter. They can't lift your house. Yes, they can! Well, they're not even lifting your couch, so why would they lift your house? Well, what do you want me to do, Cody? I want you to accept that your house is not going to fly. Yes, it's going to fly. Well, I want to go to space. Who are we going to talk to to help get my house go to space? Dude, call Elon Musk. He'll know. Oh, yeah, him. Wait, you still know his number? Oh, no, I forgot. Oh, Joseph always forgets phone numbers. Ooh, ooh, I'm so stupid. What, dude? Why don't we just call some aliens to lift our house with a UFO? Dude, that's genius. Wait, Junior, you just know aliens that you could just call. Yeah, let's go outside. I know how to call them. Wait, what? Junior, how are you going to call an alien? Like this. <laughs> Junior, what was that? It's an alien phone call ring. Wait, really? Because it sounds like a turkey. <laughs> waka, waka, waka. Okay, that sounds like Pac-Man. Dude, look. Oh. What? You've got to be kidding me. All right, guys, get inside the house, get inside the house. Okay. Whoa, oh, the house is getting lifted up, guys. I think the balloons are helping. No, Junior, I'm pretty sure it's the aliens with their UFO. No, the balloons are definitely helping a little bit. Guys, we're in space. Dude, this is so cool. How are we breathing? Okay, okay, guys, guys, uh, what's going on? We're in space. Yeah, yeah, I noticed. See, I, I, I was using your bathroom because I do that sometimes. I like to just sneak into your house and use a bathroom because I don't like using gas stations. And then when I tried to leave, I, I noticed we were in outer space. Yeah, I got aliens to take my house to space. Oh, okay, c cool. Uh, do, do you know when they're going to bring us back down to Earth? I don't know. I got to talk to them. Oh, Okay, well, I mean, that that's fine. I just, I left my car running, so I don't, I don't want it to run out of gas. And I was also on the phone with my wife, and, and I told her to hold on, so she's probably going to be on hold for a while. And she's always wanted to go to space together, so if I tell her I went without her, she'd be pretty mad. So. Oh, well, I'll try to talk to him, but I guess we'll be in space for a little bit. Okay, uh, that's that's fine. I, uh, I I guess I'll just walk, walk around. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Charlie, you are so hilarious! Wait, what are you doing in here? I told you to get out of here. You know I'm watching Charlie and Friends. Wait, what are you doing with that knife? <laughs> huh, I wonder what's in this room. I mean, it's not my house, but I'm still curious. <laughs> All right, Cody, now that we're in space, can we go outside and like float around? No, Junior, there's no oxygen outside. What's oxygen? It's what we breathe, Junior. I thought we breathe helium. Junior, you're so stupid. Guys, guys, guys! I just found a body! What? Wait, 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 what's that mean? Well, it means somebody in this house is an imposter! Or a murderer. I mean, that, that's really a better term for what they're doing. They're not really impersonating anybody. Or someone in here is impersonating someone. That's not a bad person! Y yeah, yeah, I guess you could say that. Sure, yeah. Oh, well, where'd you find the body? Well, it was in your dad's room. <gasps> My dad's room? Well, we were all here. Yeah, we were in here, dude. Yeah, so you're the one who did it because you were the one that found it! What? No, I I'm a cop. I wouldn't do that. I mean, he is a cop. He is pretty nice. Well, was he unarmed? Yeah. Well, yeah. Oh, sus. Yeah, totally sus. Uh, it's sus. Well, come on, why would I do that? Guys, I think we should skip because we don't really have any, like, you know, proof. So I think we should skip this round and just see if we have any, like, evidence next round. Mm, I guess so, dude. Let's skip. All right, you get away with this one. Okay, good. Now, I'm going to just walk around the house and try to find some more clues. Who could the imposter be? I don't know, dude. Oh, my 100th cheesecake tonight, and I don't think I can finish it. Oh, who am I kidding? Of course I can. Come here, you. Oh, oh, hey there, donkey. What are you doing with that knife? Would you like a piece of cheesecake? Oh, no. Tooth fruity, on booty. Tooth fruity, on booty. Tooth fruity, on booty. Tooth fruity, on booty. Jeffy, shut up. Mario, he's just being creative. Sometimes I just wish Jeffy was gone. Mario! Turn it, Fruity! I'll boot it! Turn it, Fruity! That was mature. Tootie Fruity on that booty. Mario, I'm going into the kitchen. What? <sighs> Man, I'm hungry. Tootie <laughs> Fruity, I'll boot it. Mario, I found the body! What? I'm calling the meeting. Where? 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 It was in the kitchen. I was upstairs. I was on the couch. Oh, well, I was doing my job in the kitchen. You were in the kitchen. It was you. Well, I was cooking in the kitchen. What were you cooking? Uh, pasta? Pasta. Imposter. It's him. Well, it's not me. You guys gotta be kidding. Look, I am not the imposter. Look, uh, uh, I heard someone say, hey, donkey, a minute ago. <gasps> Mario, you're the only one he calls donkey.
Donkey. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, Shrek calls everyone Donkey. How did you know it was Shrek? Sus, sus. Well, no, 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 no. I, I assumed it was Shrek because he said, hey, Donkey, and it was in the kitchen. He always eats cheesecake in the kitchen, so I thought it was Shrek. Nope, it's him. I vote him. What? I vote Daddy. Me yeah, too. I vote Mario. What's it now? All right, get him. What now? Get him. No, 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 no. Get out of here, you Oscar. Oh, it wasn't him. Yeah, serves him right after he threw my avocado guitar. Everyone back to normal. Turn bird on booty. Turn bird on booty. Turn bird on booty. Turn bird. Hey, what doing? What doing with that knife? Jeffy, I'm coming to say goodnight. Ah! Why did I pull it? Where? 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 Right here, right there, right there. You reported it. That's kind of sus. <gasps> Actually, he's adopted. She's already lying. Yeah, Teal's acting sus. Yeah, she's sus. Sus. I wouldn't kill Jeffy. All right, where was everyone at? I was upstairs. Well, I was in the kitchen. I was in the red couch room. Um, I was here. Oh, she totally did it. Yeah, it's her. Yeah, yeah it's her. Let's yeah, get she, her. Yeah, she did it, yeah. No, 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 no. Oh, she wasn't the imposter. Well, I'm gonna go back to cooking. Well, I'm gonna go back to looking for clues. I'm gonna go sit with my friends again. Wait, how do you know one of your friends isn't the imposter? Because I've been with them the whole time. Except for right now. <gasps> Uh-oh. Cody, are you the imposter? No. Oh, buddy! Where? Where? Right here, and Cody totally did it because he didn't say anything. He didn't even report it. No, no, I didn't report it because I didn't want anybody to think that I did it. That's totally sus. Yeah, it's pretty sus. That's very sus. And Cody, you were sitting here next to him the whole time, so you would have saw who did it, and you did it. No, no, I got up to use the bathroom. Oh, so you just used the bathroom right now? Yeah, and I just got back. But here, ask Ken. Oh, come on, Ken! All right, does everybody vote Cody? Yeah. yeah. All right, let's throw him out. No, it wasn't me, guys! Get, get out of here! What? He wasn't the imposter? Okay, I'm starting to feel kind of bad about this at this point. We just keep throwing people out into space. Yeah, we're basically the imposters because we keep killing everybody. Yeah, we probably killed more people than he has at this point. All right, look, it's not going to be hard to figure it out now because there's only three of us. Four. Oh, get get out of here! Well, it wasn't him either, but we had to be sure. Yeah, he was really quiet, and that was sus. Well, I'm gonna get back to cooking. Well, no, Chef PB, there's only three of us left. It's one of us, so we're all gonna stay here. Well, it wasn't me. I was cooking the whole time. You don't know how to cook. That's sus. I'm a chef, Junior. There's nothing sus about that. And what about this cop? Well, I was looking for clues. Well, well what clues have you found? Well, none. Oh, that's sus right there. Yeah, it's really sus, because right. if you haven't found any clues yet, that means you haven't been looking for anything. You've been killing people. <laughs> no, 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 I wasn't doing that. I, I, I'm just I'm just really bad at my job, okay? Well, I think that's really sus. I think the cop did it. Yeah, wait, wait, did wait, it. wait. What about you? What have you been doing? I've just been sitting on this couch. Really? And that's where Joseph was found. <gasps> well, well, no, no, I wasn't here when Joseph got found. I was with you on the, uh, discussing other stuff. I don't that's, know. That's pretty sus. Yeah, that's pretty sus. No, 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 you've been walking around. We don't know where you've been. You claim to be cooking, but I don't smell any food. So I definitely think you're sus. I think just us. Oh, whatever, dude. I'm getting back to, to cooking because I'm tired of this, Junior. I don't know. Chef Evie's really sus because of how fast he wants to go to cooking. Yeah. Or you're sus because you want to stay next to me because you want to kill me. No, 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 no. You want me to be alone so you can kill me. Well, no, you get back. You step back. No, no, you step back. And you leave. You, you walk away. Well, this is my couch. You walk away. Oh, okay. <sighs> Who is it? Huh. Okay. So there has been some cooking going on. So he wasn't lying about that. But where is Chef Peepee? Oh man, I'm so nervous. It's either Chef Pee or the cop. Chef Pee or the cop. I should flip a coin. Heads or tails. What's that noise? Oh, oh God. Oh, oh. <laughs> Chef Pee <Pee-Pee! laughs> I got you now, Junior. I'm the imposter. Emergency meeting. What? Uh, Chef Pee the imposter. Proof? Uh, he just fell out in the vent and he has this weapon. Well, no, 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 Junior's the imposter. I saw him come out of the vent with a uh, knife. Yeah, no, 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 Chevy, you came out of the vent. No, I saw you come out of the wait, vent. Wait, 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 what's this vent thing you're talking about? I think the way Chevy has been killing everyone is he's been moving through the vent so we don't see him walking around. Huh, that'd be pretty smart. But you came up with that on your own? Well, I mean, I think that's what he's doing. Yeah, no, 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 that, you know, that must be what you're doing, Junior, because I didn't even know you could do that. Well, wait, I didn't know you could do that until I saw you do it. You're the one who came out the vent. I was cooking the whole time, Junior. Wait, wait, wait. I just came from the kitchen and you weren't in there. Uh, I mean, I, I came up here as soon as he called the meeting. That's that's what it was. No, I only called the meeting because I saw you come out of the vent. Why would I call a meeting just for no reason? Y- y- wait, 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 wait. You said you saw him come in the vent, but how could you do that if you were just coming from the kitchen? Uh, uh I was coming up uh, the stairs and I saw him coming out of the vent with a knife. Where? I saw it all. No, I saw you come out of the vent. Why would I call a meeting? 
Jimmy, if I was gonna tell him myself. Oh, 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 I know. Because you wanted me to think it was him. Oh, yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, no, no, okay, so what if you would have showed up before him? Well, then you would have blamed me. Oh, yep, totally sus. It's him, it's him. Yep, I'm voting him. What, what, Get him. No! Yeah. Okay, so it's you. No, it's you! No, I know it's obviously not me because I know I didn't do it and there's nobody else left. There's no point in lying now. Oh, yeah. You're right, you're right. I won! I won! Yeah, congratulations. You win life in prison when we get back to Earth. So, uh, when do we get back to Earth? I don't know, because we just threw the only guy who could talk to aliens into space. Oh. Jeffy, what are you doing? What's up, Pops? What's hopping out the gates? Jeffy, what are you talking about? I'm asking you what you're doing, Daddy. I'm sitting on the couch, Jeffy. What are you doing? Daddy, you know, I'm out here maxing, relaxing, posted up, bunny hopping, floor mopping. I'm out here cashing checks and taking names, but I'm not taking names because I'm too busy cashing checks. Daddy, I'm out here getting receipts. What, Jeffy, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't understand what you just said. Daddy, I got some tea. And I'm not talking Arizona. So today, I was absolutely 100 busting at school, and the teacher was being so sus, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to send it. I'm going to full send, Daddy. So I flipped him the birdie. Tweet, tweet. Kid behind me said that we absolutely stand. But I was like, I'm still sitting. And that's on Hundo P, Daddy. Jeffy, I have no idea what you just said. I did not understand a single word you just said. That's because you're old, Daddy. You're a boomer. Wait, Jeffy, I'm not old. <laughs> on my back. See, that's exactly what a boomer would say. Plus, you're bald. Well, uh, I'm not bald, Jeffy. Jeffy, look, look, I'm not old and I'm not a boomer, okay? I'm just... I'm just a little old, but not not too old. And bald. Well, hold on, Jeffy. Let me see who's at the door. All right, Daddy. Uh, hello? Hey, old man. I lost my tennis ball and it went in your backyard. Can you get it for me? Wh why are you playing with a tennis ball at night? Mind your own business, old man. Stop calling me old man. I'm not old. Ugh, just shut up, old man, and give me my tennis ball before you croak. <sighs> Fine. Here, here's your tennis ball. Throw it to me. What, throw it to you? Yeah, huh? Okay, that's pretty far. Yeah, huh? All right. Oh, my back! Oh. <laughs> You're old! I'm not old! Shut up! Oh, my back. Send it to Elmo and... Uh, Daddy, why are you uh, digging in your butt? I'm not digging in my butt, Jeffy. I'm grabbing my back. Why are you digging in your butt? I'm not... Jeffy, shut up! Oh, Daddy, I sent a picture of my hog to Elmo, and I said, tickle this. What, Jeffy, that's so stupid. I think I'm gonna call a doctor, because my back is killing me, Jeffy. What? You can use the phone to call the doctor. Jerry, that's not a real phone. Well, then who got the picture of my hog? Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, I did, doctor. My back hurts, and I'm just getting old. Ugh, yeah, I know the feeling of getting old. It sucks. Things just don't work like they're supposed to, you know? It's just, uh, not getting up like it used to. You know, you slap it around, you call it names, you tug on it like a shoestring, but nothing. Not even a tingle. You get your favorite stepsister video up, you know, and mom and dad are out of the house, and so they're never gonna find out, and it's not weird, because they don't have the same parents, but... It's also kind of weird, because, like, they're supposed to be brother and sister, so it's just the right kind of weird. Oh, it's so hot. Ugh, I saw this one video, eight Nerf basketball. Oh, look, look my, my back hurts, and I'm just getting old. Can you fix my back pain? Oh, well, there's really nothing you can do about that. It's just part of getting old. <sighs> I hate getting old. Hold on. I got a text message. Ew, somebody sent me a picture of their hog, and it's all hairy. Right here. Well, look at this hairy hog. Well, ew, that's a huge hog. Yeah, it's the biggest hog I've ever seen. It's definitely bigger than mine. <sighs> so what are we going to do about me getting old? Well, nothing. It's just part of life, you know? Father time always wins in the end. Unless you're Tom Brady. Woo! Have you seen that, man? You must have found the fountain of youth or something. <sighs> yeah, and I'm also getting bald. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> look at you. Uh, yeah, I'm going bald too, look. But at least I'm not as bald as you. What are you, like 50? <sighs> Jeffy, daddy's getting old. Well, daddy... Better start writing that will and increase your life insurance policy. <sighs> Jeffy, I'm just gonna watch TV. <sighs> hey, old freaks! Are you tired of being old? Are you tired of your back hurting and your bones popping? Are you going bald? Well, I was too, until I discovered youth juice! I found the fountain of youth and I bottled that mf -er. Now look at me, I'm bald, I'm pushing 50, I'm getting old, but with one sip of youth juice, <sighs> Whoa! I'm in my 20s again! Now I'm young, dumb, and full of youth juice! Buy it now! Oh my god, youth juice! Jesus Christ, Daddy, calm down! Oh, Jeffy, did you see that? It's youth juice! Oh, it gave him a full head of hair, it looks so gorgeous! I have to get some of that! I have to get some of that! 
Come on, Big Bird Ancher. Oh, oh man, I got the last bottle. I'm gonna be so young and hot and not old. Hey, Danny, I'm thirsty. Well, go downstairs and get something to drink, Jeffy. Oh man, I can't wait to try it. <sighs> Who's at the door? Hey, Danny, I'm thirsty. Daddy? Oh, what's this? Oh, drink. Uh, hello? Uh, hey, old man. Uh, my son lost his tennis ball in your backyard again, and he needs you to get it for him before you croak. Wh wh why did your son come and ask for it himself? Uh, he was embarrassed that this was the second time tonight. <sighs> Fine, I will get it. <sighs> Here it is. Throw it to me. Are you serious? Yeah, huh? <sighs> That's really far. <clears throat> Oh, on my back! <laughs> You're old! Oh, stupid kid. Hey! What happened to my youth juice? Jimmy! <laughs> oh, Jimmy! What happened to you? You're a baby! Juice! Juice! Jimmy! You drank the youth juice and. Oh no! You're a baby! That means I have to restart the 18 years of taking care of you! Oh no! I have to call a doctor! I have to call a doctor! Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh, thank God you're here, doctor. See, look, I bought some youth juice. And... Oh, youth juice. Yeah, I heard of this stuff. It's dangerous. If you drink too much, you turn into a baby. Well, that's what happened to my son. Man, that is an ugly baby. He looks like a fat frog, like a toad. Well, fix him. Well, I don't know what to tell you, man. You're just going to have to wait for him to grow up. Well, no, he, he was 15 years old. He was three years away from being 18. I was almost free. Well, okay, you raised him once. You can do it again, right? No, I do not want to raise him for 18 more years. I don't even know how to take care of a baby. Well, I can help you. Well, you will. Look, okay. Calm, calm down, just for a few minutes, okay? Just till the end of the video. I'm not gonna sit here and help you raise a baby for 18 years. I'm not your wife. Okay, well, well what do we do with the baby? Oh, okay, I got this. I'm great with babies. Well, you are? Oh, yeah. I love babies, and babies love me. I I'm a real hit with the babies. I do this trick where I pretend I stole their nose. Check this out. Oh, I, I, I got your nose! Uh, I don't... Hey, I, I, I actually... Hey, hey... Hey, idiot! I don't really have your nose, you big, stupid, idiot, dumb baby! Well, well maybe, maybe you should calm God, down. God, I hate babies! Uh, what, what is this? Listen to him trying to talk! Those aren't words, idiot! What are you doing? Well, uh, 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 Shut up! Uh, maybe, maybe we should just go get him some toys, you know, so he, so he can play with some stuff. Yeah, maybe that'll work. <sighs> Alright, Jeffy, we got you a bunch of toys to play with, so play with whatever you want. Wee-wee. Well, Wee-wee. Put it down. Stop it. Put it down. Put it down. Look, you put the donuts on the stick. Here we go. Here we go. Just like that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You did it, Jeffy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like that. <laughs> look, it's stupid. He can't even stack those donuts right. What an idiot. <sighs> Why won't this fit? Oh, Jeffy, do you want to play with this? Look, 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 look. My song, Mozart. It sucks. What? I, hey, don't, don't, don't throw things at me. I, I, I will, I will punch a baby. I've done it before. Hey, stop throwing things at me. What? Oh, that is it. Oh, no, 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 did you just poop your pants? D -d did I? Yeah, it, don't be embarrassed if you did. Obviously, it was the baby. Hi oh, well, why didn't he just use a toilet? Because he's a baby. Oh, oh, okay, let's change his diaper together. Hello, uh, All right, Jeffy, we're going to change your diaper, okay? <laughs> Je Jeffy, are you done? <laughs> I, I don't think he's done. <laughs> Je Jeffy, you have to stop pooping for me to change your diaper. <laughs> Okay, you're done now, so let me just... Okay, I'm not changing that. I'm not changing that. that change is... my diaper now! No, 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 can you change it? No, no, I am not changing that. Change my diaper! Change it, change it, change it, change it! Oh, we're not changing it, Jeffy. That's too disgusting. <laughs> oh, great. Now he's crying. Hey, 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 look at this. Look at the kitty. See, the kitty is going... <laughs> Jeffy, look, look at the kitty. No, no, change my diaper! Uh, 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 let, me, let me talk to some, cartoon, some, some cartoons. Oh, no, no, no. 
Watch the TV. Watch the TV, Jeffy. Watch the TV, Jeffy. Hey, young people. Are you tired of being young and cool? Don't you wish you could just be old so you could do things like rent a car or go to a casino or get the senior citizen's discount? Well, me too. That's why I invented Old Juice. One sip of this and you'll be rocking the nursing home, getting all the elderly babes. Now, right now, I'm young and hot, but that's about to change. See, I'm old. Uh, buy old juice so you can be old like me. What? Where, where am I? What? What? What is this? I'm old and I'm scared. Uh, I have to poop. Oh my God! Look, old juice. That's exactly what we need. Okay, hey, look. You watch Jeffy so I can go get the old juice. Okay? Okay. What are you looking at, you stupid dumb baby? Come on, you don't know how to use a remote. Ow! Oh, oh, that is it! Come here! Oh my god, look! I got the old juice! I got it! What, what happened to you? Oh, uh, uh Jeffy, uh... I mean, I, uh, fell into that toy. Oh, well, well, let's get this thing off you. No, no, ow, ow, don't touch it, don't touch it. Uh. Alright, Jeffy, well, we need you to drink the old juice, okay? Uh, what? Uh, Jeffy, Jeffy, drink it! Uh, Jeffy, look, you're gonna drink this. I didn't have to. Yes, you do, Jeffy. You have to drink it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Jeffy, drink it. No. <sighs> oh, okay, how are we gonna get Jeffy to drink this? Yeah, I, I wouldn't uh, force him. Yeah, see. Uh, Jeffy? <laughs> hey, do you think we should put it in a bottle? Uh, yeah, yeah, in a bottle. That could work. Okay, let's get a bottle. Yeah, we got one go, one go juice. All right, Jeffy, here's your bottle, so drink it. Uh -uh. Jeffy, drink the bottle. Uh -uh. Jeffy, drink it. <laughs> How do I get him to drink it? Pretend it's a big fake hoo-hoo. <gasps> yeah, dude, a big fake hoo-hoo. Yeah, just, just be like this cat. <laughs> Jeffy, you're back to normal! Yay, I'm not your baby anymore! Yeah, you're not a stupid baby anymore. You wanna catch his hands again? No! Well, Jeffy, I'm glad you're back to normal. <sighs> well, Daddy, this stuff tastes good. Let me get another hit of that. Oh, no, no, Jeffy, no, no, no! <gasps> Jeffy, oh no, you're old! Huh? <sighs> hey, Danny. Huh? 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 Hey, Danny. Can you do me a favor? What is it, Jeffy? Can you buy me this new game called Fall Guys? How much is it? 20 bucks. <sighs> you know what? Here you go, Jeffy. Buy your game. Yes. PP, Danny. PP. PP. PP, Daddy! Jeffy, go buy the game! Alright, Daddy, I actually have one more problem. What? Fall Guys is for the PlayStation 4, and all I have is an Xbox One. So I was wondering if you could buy me the PlayStation 4, because it's only 400 bucks. Jeffy, I don't have 400 bucks. Well, you were pulling out 20s like it was nothing! Jeffy, I, I had 20 bucks, I didn't have $400. If you want a PlayStation 4, you have to wait till Christmas. Christmas? The PlayStation 5 will be out by then, and no one's gonna be playing Fall Guys! They're gonna be playing Get Up Guys! or something. Well, just find a game for the Xbox, Jeffy. What do you want me to play on the Xbox? Fortnite? No one plays Fortnite anymore. Well, Jeffy, I'm not going to buy you a PlayStation 4, so just play with your Xbox. Well, what do you want me to do? Go steal a PlayStation 4? Well, it, it, we'll go do that and see what happens. <sighs> 20 bet. <laughs> But what I like to call it is a PPS4 because it's so PP. Jeffy, how did you get a PS4? I stole it. I got the four finger discount, Danny, because I only got four fingers. You stole it, Jeffy? I sure did, Danny. Why? Because you told me to. I did not tell you to steal it. You said do it. No, I did not. Bruh. You said do it and see what happens. And see what happens? That's a free PS4, Daddy. It's not a free PS4, Jeffy. You stole it. Did I pay any money for it, Daddy? No. Free. Well, you stole it. It's not free. Jeffy, it's not free. You were supposed to free. <sighs> it's not free. Free. Oh, there's someone free. on the If it's the cops, you're not going to be. Free. Yeah. Uh, hello? Ah! You okay, buddy? Yeah, everything's fine, officer. What are you doing here? Well, your reaction tells me you probably know what I'm doing here. I have no idea why you're here. I don't know anything about a stolen PS4. Well, that's funny you should say that, because somebody just stole a PS4 from Target, and in the security footage, it looks a lot like your son, Jeffy. What, Jeffy? Oh, he moved out a month ago. He doesn't live here anymore. Oh, really? Yep, Jeffy does not live here anymore. So Jeffy's not here. No, Jeffy is not here. I haven't seen him. He's definitely I not see here. I see him. Wait, 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 so what? Wait, Jeffy, go! Jeffy, go! Hey, 
Hey gang, check out my PBS4. Oh, just go back in the room. He doesn't matter now. I've seen him. I know he's here. He's not here. That, that wasn't Jeffy. That was my grandfather. Go back to bed, Grandpa. I'm here every day. I'm pretty sure I know what your kid looks like. <sighs> I'm coming in. Okay. Well, well, well. There's the stolen PS4. What do you have to say for yourself, Jeffy? My daddy told me to do it. What? Oh, really? No, I said do it and see what happens. And see what happened? I got a PS4 for me. Huh. Uh, I don't know, this is kind of confusing. Is it your fault for telling him to steal the PS4, probably sarcastically, <laughs> or his fault for actually stealing the PS4 from the store? It's his fault! Uh, I don't know, I'm gonna have to call for backup. Uh, just pretend there's a walkie-talkie right here. <coughs> Come in, I need backup, over! <coughs> Did somebody call for backup? I was backed up earlier, until Officer Toppin clogged my drain. Hey! Oh god, these two. What's the hard predicament you're in, officer? And he means predicament. Ugh, okay, look, this kid right here stole this PS4, but his dad told him to, but he was being sarcastic, so I don't know whose fault it is. I think they both need a spanking. I want to join their group. I think I stole it too. You don't have to steal to get your spanking. <laughs> oh god, okay, just focus, you two. Wait, where's your uniform? I lost it, but I'll get on all fours to try and find it. You don't, you don't, have, that you don't have to do that. I'm backing it up. Toot toot. No, no toot toot. Okay, look, I figured it out. I don't need backup. What, what, what happened? Well, the kid stole the PS4. It's right there. Look, I, I'm fine. I don't need your help. Okay, looks like this is open and shut. Come on, Officer Bottom. I think there's a crime scene in the next room we need to explore. Sounds like a good time. Oh, God, I feel like I need a shower. So what's happening, Officer? Well, now I'm going to go get tested, and then I'm going to take Jeffy to jail. What, to jail? What for? What for? Well, he stole a PlayStation 4. That's a crime. Well, he doesn't know any better. He's 16, and this is not the first time he's done something like this. Oh, well, don't worry. Look, I will ground him. Well, that, that clearly hasn't worked up until now because he keeps doing bad things. Well, look, I will super ground him. I'm going to take everything away from him. He's going to learn his lesson this time. Look, just give me one more chance to ground him. Okay, but this is your last, last chance, okay? After this, he's going to jail. Okay, you hear that, Jeffy? If you mess up again, you're going to jail. All right. Yeah, see, look, he, he understands. Okay, I'm taking this PS4, and I'm going to go play Fall Guys. <gasps> Daddy, he just took my PlayStation 4! Jeffy, you're grounded. You don't deserve that PS4. You stole it. Grounded? For what? Bruh, you don't know what you're grounded for? You stole a PS4. You always do bad stuff. Jeffy, you're grounded. I'm taking everything away from you. You're taking away everything? Everything. I'm taking away your Xbox. My Xbox? First my PlayStation 4 and now my Xbox? You never had a PS4 because you stole it. So look, we're going to go to your room and I'm going to show you all the stuff you lost. <sighs> all right, Jeffy, I'm going to take your pillow. My pillow? Yeah, I'm going to take your SML blanket. Not my SML blanket that I got from SMLmerch.com. Link in the description. Yeah, I'm going to take everything. You know what? You're not allowed to keep your light on ever again. You have to be in the dark. <sighs> Well, you should be afraid of stealing, because if you steal again, you're going to go to jail. Well, screw you, Daddy! Well, suck it, Jeffy, suck it! Suck it? I'll show you suck it! You know what? You're not allowed to leave your room ever again. Well, screw you, Daddy! Mm. I'm going to teach my daddy for grounding me. I'm going to paint him a picture, so when he wakes up, he'll see it. And done. I can't wait for my daddy to see this. Ooh. Oh man, that was a great sleep. Today's gonna be a great day. Good morning house, good morning walls, good morning ceiling, good morning living room. <laughs> Jimmy! Did you find something, Daddy? Yes, Jeffy, you know what you did! What are you talking about, Daddy? Come on! This, Jeffy! What does this say? It says, suck it, Daddy. Can't you read? That is that, mister! I am done! I am so done! Done with what, Daddy? You! Daddy, you know it's not polite to point. Come on. Ow! That is it, Jeffy! I'm so tired of you! I am so done with you! I am so done with you! You have no idea how done I am with you! How done? So, so done! You, I called the cop because I can't do it anymore! Hey there, somebody call a cop? Yes, officer, I can't do it anymore. I need you to punish him. Oh, you want me to take him to jail? I don't want you to arrest him, but like, can you like take him to jail and show him how scary it is? Oh, like a beyond scared straight sort of thing. Yeah, like that. Oh, okay, yeah, I think I can hire an actor to come pretend to be an inmate. Yeah, like that. Okay. All right, Jeffy, this officer's gonna take you to jail because I can't do it anymore. Yeah, you're coming with me, kid. Oh, I don't want to go to jail! Oh, you're going to jail. Yeah, you're going to jail, come on. All right, Jeffy, if you keep being bad, you're gonna end up in jail like this guy. Oh, let me at him, let me at him! I can't wait to be somebody's butt until they start acting good! Yeah, yeah, tell them how bad jail is. Oh, you don't want to be in jail. There's no electricity, there's no air conditioning. There's not even a body over there. I gotta poop in a the corner, then wipe my butt with my hands. Smell it! Smell it. 
Your hands smell clean. Oh, it's because I just washed them. Oh, we only get to wash once a month. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell them about the food. Oh, man. The food is horrible. We only got ham and cheese sandwiches. That's not so bad. You gotta make it sound worse than that. I mean, well, it is bad when you gotta put it between an inmate's butt cheek and then eat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I've seen them do it. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't last long in here either. You cute. Wait, you ain't supposed to kiss back. No, 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 tell them what you'll do to them if you see them in there. Oh, don't let me see you in here. Because if I see you in here, I'm a bop. Y yeah, he'll he'll bop you. Mm -hmm. that, that's why he's here. He, he was the Chicago bopper. He kept he kept bopping people. Or, or he stole a bop it from Target. But a anyway, Jeffy, now do you see why jail's bad? Well, it doesn't seem so bad. You get to poop on your floor, which I don't even get to poop on the floor at my house. And you get to eat ham and cheese sandwiches, which is better than eating green beans, because green beans are disgusting. But, but you get to eat the sandwiches out of somebody's butt. Which is still better than eating green beans. Have you ever eaten green beans? Yeah. Yeah, they're disgusting. All right, Jeffy, come on, let's try something else. Wait, wait, let me out! I did my part! Alright, so the prison thing didn't work, but I have a new idea. I paid this homeless guy five bucks to pretend he's Jeffy from the future if he doesn't straighten up. Oh, so if Jeffy sees how bad he is in the future, he's not gonna act bad anymore. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm gonna tell Jeffy we got a time machine. Jeffy, get in here! What's up, Daddy? So, uh, don't tell anyone, but we have a time machine. <gasps> really? Yeah, we have a time machine, and we went in the future, and we grabbed your future self if you keep acting bad. So, Jeffy, meet Jeffy. Hey. My name is Jerry. What? No, your name is Jeffy. Mm, Jerry. Not Jerry, Jeffy. Mm, mm, Jerry. Well, this is your future self. You change your name to Jerry in the future because you're so bad. Why does he smell like pee? Well, because he keeps peeing his pants. <laughs> you can't pee your pants if your pants are down. <laughs> well, um, well, well, you're that. Daddy? You have a time machine, so you literally could have grabbed anything from the future. You could have grabbed a cure for cancer, you could have grabbed a flying car, but no, you had to grab this bum. Well, I was just trying to show you how bad your future will be if you keep acting bad, Jeffy. Well, it's not working. Okay, I have a new idea. We're going to show him his future self if he's good. Yeah, let's do that. Now, Jeffy, this is the future you if you stop doing bad things. Hey, fat boy, I got all the money and all the honey. I'm catching checks and eating grass for that GR. Yeah, Jeffy, this is the future version of yourself who's really successful and doesn't do bad things. Yeah, I don't lie, I don't steal, I just do good things. So what version of yourself do you want to be? The future rich version or the homeless man? I mean, the homeless version of yourself. Well, Danny, obviously I want to be the future rich version of myself. So that means you can't steal or do bad things. You have to stay in school and study. You can't be mean. Yeah, Daddy, I understand. Um, is it okay if I talk to future self for a minute? Yeah, I guess so. Um, let's, let's leave him alone. I think it's working. Okay. Bruh, Scooter, check it. I know it's you, dog. So why don't we take all this cash and go buy a brand new PS4 and play Fall Guys? Okay. All right. Run! Yeah. Watch out! Yeah, I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I think Jeffy learned his lesson. But Scooter, what do you do out of costume? I don't know. Wait, where's all my money? We bought a PlayStation 4 with it. A PlayStation 4? You what? That was my money! I got it when I pulled somebody over and searched their car! Jeffy, you just stole this officer's money! Daddy, I didn't steal any money! I borrowed it from future me! What? Oh, well, he kind of has a point. What are you talking about? Well, we told Jeffy that that was future him. So as far as he's concerned, he didn't steal anything. He just borrowed it from himself. You thought that was future version of yourself, so he got a loan from the future version of himself? Yeah, I mean, this is a technicality, but I really don't want to call backup again. But, so you don't care? Well, I guess you can get away with this one. <sighs> well, Jeffy, did you at least learn your lesson? Yeah, Daddy, I learned my lesson. I just got a question. Do you have any more future me's running around the house carrying a bunch of money? Because there's some items in the item shop that I want. Well, no, Jeffy, but you learned not to steal, right? And you learned not to do bad stuff, right? <sighs> yeah, Daddy, I did. All right, so then you keep playing your game, but you, you know the consequence if you do bad stuff. You'll go to jail and end up homeless. So what are you going to go do now? I'm going to go pull somebody over and get my money. Hey, Daddy. Ow. You a new song that me and Booger wrote? No. Mario. Okay, fine. What's it about? So I was looking outside the window, and I saw a bus go by, and I was like, you know what the wheels on that bus are doing? And I wrote this song. Okay, let me hear it. Mommy, can you record it? Sure, Jeffy. There's no point to record it. And go. All right, Booger, you ready? Here we go. A one, a two, a one, two, three. The wheels on the bus go round and round. You did not write round that. And round, round and round. You stole the that. The wheels on the bus go round and round all through the town. <laughs>
Jeff, you did not write that song. You stole that song. I didn't steal it, Dad. It's 100% original. Then what's it called? It's called The Rotation of the Wheels on the Bus. Wow. Well, you stole that, Jeffy. Mario, just let him dream. I'll hey, Mommy, can you post that for me? Sure, Jeffy. All right, thanks, Mommy. Come on, Booger, let's go. Oh, that was ridiculous. He totally stole that song. It's, it's from the wheels on the bus. My phone's ringing. Oh, hold on. Hello? Hey, is this the depressed-looking bald guy that was in the video of the dinosaur playing the piano? Yeah. Well, I'm a black market animal dealer, and I was watching that video and I couldn't help but think, you know, dinosaurs are extinct. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, so somebody could make a lot of money off one of those dinosaurs. Wait, a lot of money? Yeah, if you sold me that dinosaur, I'd pay you pretty good. Well, I don't think I could sell it. That's my son's pet. Oh, come on. What's a kid need a dinosaur for anyway? You're right. Let me ask my wife. Hey, baby, if I sold Jeffy's pet dinosaur, would you be mad? Mario, how could you ask me such a question? I would never you do that. Jeffy would never forgive you, Mario. I can't believe you're asking me this Okay, right okay, now. okay, okay, okay. Did you hear that? No, I, there's no way I could do it. You know, I could throw in a hitman to deal with that annoying whiny thing I just heard on the phone. Well, unfortunately, I married that annoying whiny thing. Yeah, well, you know, I would pay you a lot of money for that dinosaur. A lot of money? Like, how much money? Mmm, like... Like, so much money, man. Like, oh, man. Like, so much money that, like, you wouldn't believe me if I told you, so I'm just not even going to tell you. That does sound like a lot of money. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of money. I'm, I'm still not sure if I could do it. Hey, 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 Booker, Booker, you must have Booker, to go to the bathroom. Booker, let's go pee on the carpet. Hmm. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Okay, just meet me under any street light. I'll be there. Okay. Um, baby, I, I, I gotta go check the mail. Mario, it's dark outside. Yeah, but I just heard the mail truck. It, it's Amazon Prime. I, I Amazon Prime you a necklace, a, a shiny necklace. Oh. Yeah, so, so I'll be right back. All right, Booger, pee on the carpet so my daddy can rub my nose in it. Hey, Jeffy, I have to take uh, Booger outside uh, for a walk. Oh, Danny, he was just about to pee on the carpet in his favorite pee on the carpet spot. Well, uh, he's not going to pee on the carpet this time because I'm going to take him outside to use the bathroom in the grass. Well, if he doesn't pee on the carpet, then who's going to pee on the carpet? No one. No one needs to be peeing on the carpet. I, I, I just really need to take Booger outside for a walk. Well, if he doesn't pee on the carpet, can I pee on the carpet? Sure, whatever. I, I just have to take him for a walk. Come on, Booger. All right, I'm about to stick my thing deep in this carpet. I'm about to get carpet burn. All right, Booger, I'm really sorry I have to do this, but I really need the money. Hey. Oh, hey, uh, are you the guy with the money? Yeah, yeah, do you have the dinosaur? Oh, yeah, there he is. Yeah, that, that's the dinosaur, so, so where's the bunch of money? Uh, yeah, yeah, I have, I have the money. It's, it's right here, but uh, I'm gonna need you to do something for me first. What? Gonna need you to put on this blindfold. What, put on a blindfold? Why? Well, well, because if the cops come asking you about the dinosaur, you can just say you didn't see anything, and you wouldn't be lying because you had a blindfold on. Well, it's, it's kind of suspicious that you want me to put on a blindfold. Like, what if you just take the dinosaur and never give me money? No, come on, bro. I, I, I wouldn't do that. No, I'll, I'll give you the money. Yeah, I, you, I promise. You, you, pr you swear? Oh, I swear. I dolphin swear. Yeah, dolphins never lie. O okay, so if I put on that blindfold, you're, you're going to give me money, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. So much money, it's a lot of money. Uh, more than $100? Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely more than $100. Okay, I'll put it on. There you go. Okay, I have the blindfold on. Now, where's the money? Good, good. So, here's the money. Whoa, that feels like a lot of money. Yeah, it's a lot of money. So, what you're gonna do is you're gonna count to five, and then you can take off the blindfold, okay? Okay. Okay, go. One, two, three, four, five. What? Monopoly money! Hey! Hey, where'd he go? What? Oh my god! Oh no! I just got scammed! I just got scammed! Oh, what would I do this? Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it! Oh, oh no! Oh. Oh, baby, it's so awful, it's so awful. Mario, what's wrong? I, I was walking Booger outside, Aww. and uh, this guy put a blindfold around my eyes, and then he stole Booger and handed me a bunch of Monopoly money. What? Yeah. Mario, I thought you were checking the mail. What? Uh, yeah, 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 I, I was checking the mail. He stole your necklace, too. Oh, no. Yeah, and then he handed me all this Monopoly money, and at first I thought it was real, and I was like, I, I, I don't mind being robbed, but, but then I realized it was Monopoly money. What am I going to do? Mario, Jeffy's going to be heartbroken. Yeah, we, we, we can't tell Jeffy. We, we can't tell the cops or anyone. So so what do we do? We, we just have to get another dinosaur. Mario, we can't get another dinosaur. They're extinct. Well, well, well we can just call the one guy that created dinosaurs. God. Oh, God. You there? God. I'm brushing my teeth. What do you want? Well, you still have to brush your teeth in heaven? Yeah, you gotta have pearly whites to get through the pearly gates. I need to start brushing my teeth more. Yeah, you do. So what's up? I don't have a lot of time. Well, uh, God, my dinosaur got stolen. It didn't get stolen. I saw what happened. I see everything. Shh, not in front of my wife. Look, 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 look. I just need you to get me another dinosaur. Didn't you see what happened last time I made dinosaurs? They got taken away. I, I mean, I mean, I wiped them out. I chose to wipe them out. Look, I just need one more dinosaur. Please, please, please. No, I'm not allowed to make dinosaurs. I mean, I, I don't, I don't want to make 
pick a dinosaur. J just one dinosaur, please. But my son's gonna go crazy if he's he thought I sold his dinosaur. Look, look, man. My dad won't let me make more dinosaurs. Your dad. Son, did you finish brushing your teeth? No, I was going to, but then I got distracted. Cause you know, if you get another cavity, I'm gonna take your universe from you. No, not my universe. It's my universe. You can't take it away. Did you finish your homework? No. Wait, what, what, what homework do you have? I gotta work on a stupid planet project. And this genius right here decided to release a virus. Now look what he's got to deal with. Hey, I'm working on it, okay? It's a really hard problem to solve. Okay, well then no more Fortnite until you finish this virus problem. <laughs> you can't take away my Fortnite, Dad. I hate you. If you keep acting like that, I'm gonna treat you like I did Lucifer. You say that, but you never do it. All right, get your stuff together. We're going home because your mother's making communion toast crunch. <sighs> hate her cooking. Whoa, well, before you go, can you make me one dinosaur? Just one dinosaur. He's grounded from making dinosaurs. Now let's go. Sorry, guys. My dad's a jerk. <sighs> oh, man. Well, God couldn't help. What are we going to do now? I know, Mario. We could call a pet detective. A what? A pet detective. He specializes finding lost animals. Well, call him. Okay. Hey there. Did somebody call a pet detective? Oh, uh, yeah, we did. Alrighty then. So what's up? So my pet dinosaur got stolen by a porpoise or a dolphin. Oh, I'm not looking for a porpoise. You see, the common harbor porpoise has an abrupt snout, pointed teeth, and a triangular thoracic fin. While the bottlenose dolphin, or Terciops truncatus, has an elongated beak, round cone-shaped teeth, and a distinctive serrated dorsal appendage. But I'm sure you already knew that. That's what turns me on about you. Your attention to detail. Can you stop making Ace Ventura references and help me, help me find my dinosaur? Nonsense, poopy pants! Oh, look, 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 my dinosaur got stolen. And my son's gonna freak out if he finds out I got stolen, so can you help me find him? Alright, let's go to my car. Okay, uh, where are we going? First off, hungry fella? What? No, that's cat food. Alrighty then! Now where was the scene of the crime? It was underneath that street light. Alright, let's drive there. I mean, we could walk there. Here! Let's get out of the car. Oh, oh God. So this is where it happened, huh? Yeah, right here. I was walking my pet dinosaur, and then a dolphin came up and stole him. Wait just a hot second. A clue. Oh wow, you found a pebble. Excuse me while I call CNN. Oh, it's not a pebble. It's a rare triangular cut orange amber. What's it from? It's from a 1984 Miami Dolphin AFC Championship ring. If I find the ring with the missing stone, I find Snowflake. Stop making Asian tour references! I just can't do it, Captain! I don't have the power! Stop it! Le who the Come on, we gotta go find him! Let's do it. Ugh. Mario, did you find Booger? No, he's too busy making Ace Ventura references. I'm doing that because that movie is the shit. Hey, you, you can't say the S word. You're going to get us demonetized. Shish kebab. Shawshank Redemption. Chicago. You're out of there. Go. Go on. Go. No, no, stop making those references. You're not Jim Carrey. You'll never be Jim Carrey, okay? That movie is so old. There's no way our fans have seen it, and they're going to be so confused with this video. I, I just I just thought if I was cool like Jim Carrey, maybe it would help me solve the case. Stupid fly. Ugh. There, you look. Homicide. How are you going to solve that one? Good one, Aguado. First, I'd have to establish a motive. In this case, the killer saw the size of the bug's dick and became insanely jealous. Then I'd lose 30 pounds, park in his wife. Aww. Hey! <laughs> Kiss and make up. <laughs> What's that scream? Let's go check it out. <laughs> what's wrong, Jeffy? Yeah, what's wrong, Jeffy? I heard Booger get stolen out that window, and I'm just now crying about it. Well, I'm sorry, Jeffy. He did get stolen. I didn't want to tell you about it, because I didn't want you to cry. Wait a minute, Jeffy. Are you sure you heard Booger get stolen out of that window? Yeah. You're positive that you heard Booger get stolen out of that window? Yeah, I'm positive. Okay. Well, what's your point, Brooklyn guy? Only this. Uh... That is double pane, soundproof glass. There was no way Jeffy could have heard Booger get stolen out of that window. Booger wasn't stolen. He was sold. Yes, yes, oh yeah. Can you feel that, buddy? Ha, 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 can you feel that? I have exercised the demons. This house is clear. Loser? Wait, get out of here! Loser! No, 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 no. Who the hell? Mario, what was he talking about that you sold Booger? I did not sell Booger. But earlier you were asking me if you could sell him so the story fits. Like a glove. Okay, fine, look, I sold Booger because I thought I was going to make a lot of money, but then I got scammed. And the truth shall set you free. That's liar, liar. Which is what you are, Mario, for selling Booger. Wait, 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 wait. 
Einhorn is Finkel. Finkel is Einhorn? Einhorn's a man! <coughs> Can you please stop with the Asian Joe references? You're just mad because she found Captain Winky! Well, stop it! There's someone at the door. There's someone on the wing. Some thing! Okay, I'm answering the door. Hello? <laughs> Bugger! You must have escaped and ate that dolphin! Thank God you're back! Come inside! Look who was at the door! It was Bugger! What? He must have escaped! Excuse me? Your balls are showing. Bumblebee tuna? Bumblebee tuna. Alright, I guess my work here is done. Take care now. Bye bye then. Mario, promise you'll never sell Booger ever again. I promise I'll never sell Booger ever again because I don't want him showing back up. <laughs> Kill me. Ugh, there's no way it's 4 a.m. already. Riley! Get up and try to go to work! Yeah, I know, Karen. That's why I have an alarm clock. I don't need your annoying voice as another one. Hey, hey boy, day. While you're up, can you make me breakfast? Yeah, sure, because I have time for that. And then I'm gonna eat it, and then I'm gonna go to bed and sleep till noon! Yeah, I know, Karen, you do that every day. Oh, God, I really don't want to go to work. Ugh. God, I prayed last night that I wouldn't wake up. Why do you hate me? Ugh, ugh, bedhead. Not the good kind. I gotta brush that. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Am I going bald? Ugh, oh my God, just like my father. I guess I better brush my teeth. Stupid fly! Karen, did you leave a window open? Yes! Why, you stupid fly? Great! Yeah, that's just great. This is the perfect start to my day. I guess I just won't brush my teeth. It's not like I have teeth anyway. What, Karen, you don't know how to flush? Sorry, boy day! Yeah, you're sorry. I know. Okay, I guess I'll just wash my face then. What? Oh, come on! What, really? What? Karen, the sink is broken! Fix it! Okay, I guess I'll just use hot water then. What? Oh, come on! What? What is going on? Bloody, they turned the water off because they forgot to pay the water bill! That doesn't explain why the sink is broken, Karen. The water company doesn't just come to your house and destroy your sink when you forget to pay the bill. Hey, hey, Bloody, I'm really hungry. Can you make me breakfast now? Okay, it's not like I have a lot going on anyway. Boydie, this isn't the kitchen! I know, Karen. I need to get my uniforms for the day. Oh, who you gonna be today, Boydie? All of them. Boydie, I'm starving! Okay, I will make you breakfast. Thank you, Boydie! Oh, I just want it. Uh, all right, Karen, what do you want for breakfast? Um, I wanna play slap hands! No, Karen, it's too early for slap hands. What do you wanna eat? Come on, Boydie, just one round! No. Come on, you stick out your hand and let me see if I can hit it. Ow, you win. Aw, Boydie, you're supposed to move it away! Here, try on me! I really don't want to. Come on, Boydie, hit it before I can move it out of the way! Ouch! <laughs> oh, my hand! Oh, oh Boydie, oh. you poor baby! Oh, yeah, poor baby! You wanted to play slap hands over a hot stove! Oh, Boydie, calm down! How about you go sit down, relax, I'll make your breakfast! Really? Yeah, Boydie, go relax! Okay... Ow. Okay, Boydie, here's your breakfast. What in God's name is this? Well, I cooked your waffle. Burned. There's an egg on top. Raw. There's some Vienna sausages with ranch. Ew. Some pickles on the side. Pickles don't go with waffles. And then gummy worms for dessert. K Karen, I can't eat this. This is not food. Oh, I forgot your water. You go to hydrate. What, what, did you get thirsty on the way from the kitchen? Well, Boydie, I had to shower somehow. The water. Out. You showered with a bottle of water? Come on, Boyne, you need to eat up because you gotta go to work! You know what? No. 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 You know what? I'm not going to work today. What, Boyne? I'm not going to work. I'm not doing it today. But, Boyne, who's gonna do all your jobs? I don't know. I don't care. Today, it's not my problem. Today, I'm gonna do what makes me happy, which is nothing. But, Boyne! <sighs> but, Boyne, you have to go to work! Not today, I don't. But, Boyne, we have bills to pay. They're gonna turn off our power. I don't care. They already turned off the water. It doesn't matter. Boyney, you have so many important jobs to do. People need you. Well, they don't need me today. You're a cop and a doctor and a firefighter. Listen, Karen, I don't care. My hand hurts, my toothbrush is in the toilet, the sink is broken, and I'm going bald. So for today, I'm going to stay home. Today is my day off. It is National My Day Off Day. Okay, Boyney. Whew.
this is kind of nice. Hey, Danny, I got a riddle for you. What is it, Jeffy? How many Legos can I stick in my ear? It should be zero, Jeffy. Wrong, Danny. It's actually five. But you have five Legos in your ear? Yeah, Danny, you want to see? <laughs> There's four. Uh-oh. J Jimmy, you know that means there's one stuck in your ear. Oh no, Mario, we need to call the doctor right now. He could lose his hearing. Jimmy, you're never supposed to put Legos in your ears. <laughs> Let me call the doctor. So, Boiny, what are you going to do all day? Whatever I want. Like right now, I'm going to sit here and watch the Miami Heat. Go Heat. But, Boiny, do you need anything from me? I need you to go away. Oh, be serious, Bo Boiny. Boiny, your phone's ringing. I don't care. I'm not answering it. But, Boiny, it's an emergency. I don't care. This is my off day. Go heat. What? The doctor didn't answer. He didn't answer? No. Danny, I'm starting to lose my hearing. I can't hear out of my ear. Okay, Jeffy, I'll call the doctor again. Oh, come on. You call that a shot? You get paid millions of dollars and you can't put a ball in a basket? Ugh. You know, I used to play basketball. I could have went pro if I didn't jam my pinky in the eighth grade. Boyney, they're calling again. I, I'm not answering it. But, Boyney, you should at least tell him it's your day off. Yeah, I guess I should. Ugh. Hello? Uh, yes, hello, doctor. My son has a Lego stuck in his ear, and we need your help getting it out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let, let, let me stop you right there. What do they want? Uh, today is my off day, okay? I'm not working today. You're going to have to find somebody else. Find somebody else? You're the only doctor around here. Yeah, I know. Well, if you need me, just call me tomorrow, because I'm off today. <sighs> What's wrong, Mario? The doctor says he's having an off day, and to call him back tomorrow. Tomorrow? But Jeffy could be deaf by then. That's it, Jeffy. I'm going to get that Lego out of your ear. All right, Danny. <sighs> um, Mario? What? I think I found the fifth Lego. What? You're not even looking in his ear. Mario? What? Look. Jenny! Well, Danny, I didn't say all five Legos were in the same ear, so it looks like you lost the riddle. Jeffy, you're so stupid! Uh, Boiny? What? What if I want to go into work for you? <laughs> you? Working? That's a good one, Karen. Maybe you should be a comedian. Boiny, I could have a job. I could be a cop or a doctor or a firefighter. You can't be a cop, Karen, because you can't even say it right. You say quap. Boiny, I could be a cop. Yeah, okay, whatever. Boiny, next time that phone rings, I'll show you. I'm going to go help them. <laughs> okay, yeah, you do that. Hey, Danny, can I go make a bowl of cereal? No. Mario, Jeffy's allowed to eat. He's going to make a mess. You need to trust him more, Mario. <sighs> so, Daddy, what's the answer? Yes. <sighs> My daddy's so silly. He thought he could actually trust me with making my own bowl of cereal. Well, I got to teach him a lesson, so, oops, all berries. Oops, all lighter fluid. Oops, big fire. Daddy, I did something bad. Hey, um, Daddy? Not right now, Jeffy. All right, no rush. What is it? Um, I started a fire in the kitchen. What? Jeffy! Yeah, Danny, come look. It's pretty pretty. Uh -huh. She? Well, Jeffy, why would you start a fire? Oh, no! Well, let me call the fire department! Ah! I'll have to call the fire department. Did he really start a fire? Yes! Go, Jimmy, go! Do the thing with the basketball! Yeah! Yeah, he did it! He did the thing where you jump in the air, you know? Um, Boiny, who's Jimmy? Who's Jimmy? He's the best player on the team. That's who Jimmy is. Boiny, your phone's ringing! Well, that's all you. You go ahead and answer it. Oh, I'm going to answer it, Boyne. Hello! Hello, yes. We need a firefighter to our house right now. There's a fire. Okay, I'll be right there. Boyne, there's a fire. Yeah, they are on fire. That's why they're the Miami Heat. No, the people who called said there's a fire. Well, we'll get to it then. Boyne, where are the bottles of water? Bottles of water? No, Karen, you use a hose. I don't have those. I'm not a rapper. What? No, like a hose? Like with like with, with, with like a fire truck? You know, like a Dalmatian? For, for some reason? What's he supposed to do? It's a dog. They, they can't use a hose. It's um, dumb. Okay, Boiny. I'll be right back. Uh, hello? Did you call the fire department? Yeah, the fire's in my kitchen here. See, look, there's the fire. Oh, that's really scary. Now put it out. <clears throat> Wait, you missed. You didn't throw fire enough. <clears throat> Don't throw it at the car. What are you doing? I'm going to call my husband. <laughs> Stupid Boston Celtics. You didn't even say your name right. It's pronounced Celtics. And your mascot's a leprechaun. That those aren't those aren't even real. You know, at least Miami Heat makes sense because it's fire. You know, and it's hot in Miami. I mean, I've never been to Miami, but I've been told. What? what? 
Karen's calling me, but it's my off day. You know what? No, I'm not answering it. I don't even have to answer to my wife on my off day. What'd he say? What'd he say? He didn't answer me. Well, he didn't answer me. What? 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 Oh, I'm robbing your house. Oh, no, I'm a robber. I'm gonna go get my husband. Let's go, 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 go. Go, Jimmy, go. Go, Jimmy, go. Pointy, pointy, I need you. The world needs you. Hold on, watch this three. Watch this three. Uh, okay, he didn't make it, but that, that's that's Jimmy, though. He's still good. Boyney, the world's a mess out there. We need your help. A uh, double dribble much? Uh, can we get this man a napkin for that double dribble? Come on, ref. You've been watching this game. It's a good one. Boyney, are you listening to me? Uh, oh, oh, hold on, honey. The, the, the Celtics are about to make a free throw, and I got to try to mess him up. Ka -ka 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 it, it didn't work. You see, there's no fans at the game, so I hope it's not too high. You know, because they're the heat. Boyney, you need to go back to work. Yeah, Jimmy's going to work on that defense. Weak! Boyney, name one other player other than Jimmy on the Miami Heat! Um, d d um, mm, uh, this, uh, 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 Dwayne, Dwayne Wade used to play, so, so there. But it's Jimmy's team now. Boyney, when does your off day end? Uh, midnight? What a stupid question. <laughs> when does today end? Tomorrow? When does Wednesday end? Thursday? <laughs> stupid. Oh, come on! Come on, ref! Stamp that man's passport for all the traveling he's doing! Breaking news, okay? A man's house is being robbed while his kitchen is on fire. If only there was someone who could help him. See, Boyney, the world needs you! Ugh, okay, I'll do it after the game. It's only got 0 0.8 seconds left, and there's no way the Celtics can make a comeback that fast. And they did it. Uh, oh, come on, Jimmy, why? Why you gotta do this to me, Jimmy? Uh, I don't even like basketball. I don't even understand it. Ugh. Okay, all right, I'll get up. Come on, boy. Oh, man, my house is gonna catch on fire. Hey there, somebody call a firefighter? Oh, thank God you're here. The fire's right there. Oh, yeah, that thing's putting off a lot of heat. You get it? Like the Miami Heat? Yeah, can you just put the fire out? All right, uh, show me what I'm working with here. All right, we have a fire extinguisher and a pot of water balloons. Water balloons? I could be like Jimmy. Oh, yeah, I'm going for the buzzer beater game winner. <laughs> From downtown. What? It didn't work. It was a beautiful shot, though. Switch. Well, do another one. And one? Okay. Four point play. <laughs> I won the game! I'm <laughs> just like Jimmy! You did it! You put out the fire! Yeah, I know! Well, there's one more problem you have to deal with. That guy's robbing my house. Oh, okay. Trick shot over the shoulder. <laughs> wow, these are some nice balls. You just stopped the robber! <laughs> yeah, I did. See, boy, need the world needs you! Yeah, I guess you're right, Karen. I guess I am important. Yeah, please don't take an off day ever again. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know about that. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Dude, I just got this new yellow ball! Shut up. No, you didn't, Joseph. Dude, I'm telling the truth! I just got it! You don't have to lie to us, Joseph. Yeah, you don't have to lie and say you got something cool if you didn't get it. Bro, I promise, it's right here! Whoa! No, it's so cool, right? Where'd you get it from? I got it from the dollar store. How much did it cost? Well, if you got it from the dollar store, it clearly cost a dollar. Actually, Cody, I got it for free. How'd you get it for free? <laughs> I got that five-finger discount. But we only have four fingers. Well, four-finger discount. That's so cool. We should go play catch outside. Oh, let's do it, dude. Well, I actually heard it's supposed to rain tonight. No, it's not. Okay, I'm just telling you what I heard. I heard that on the news. You heard it on the news? Yeah. Okay, well, we're not going to let a little rain ruin our day. So let's go outside and play catch. But it's still dark. Like, we won't be able to see who we're throwing the ball to. Oh, wow! 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 wow. I can't believe you. He went there. Yeah, he went there. Wow, 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 wow. 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 That's not what I meant. Okay, so, 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 so you're saying that you don't want to play catch because it's dark and we n won't know who we're throwing the ball to. I can't believe him. <laughs> but I wouldn't be able to see you either. Wow! Wow! Okay, 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 okay. How about this? We'll play catch inside with the lights on. Is that fine? Well, yeah, actually, that'd be a lot better. But, 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 but what if I want to turn the lights off? Hmm. Well, it would still be better than being outside. Uh, yeah, if we turn the lights off, who wouldn't you be able to see? I mean, it'd be pretty dark. It probably <laughs> wouldn't be. You know what? Say how, it! How, Say it! No, no. How, Say it! What, how, about we just, how about we just check the weather and see if it's raining, okay? Okay, if, if it's not raining, then you'll cancel. Wait, no. It... Breaking news, you 
okay? There's a crazy lunatic on the loose named Cody. He's a killer who eats fingers and eyeballs. He has had over 20 victims so far, and if you have seen him, please call 911 immediately. What? Did you see the news? Yeah, the guy's crazy. Joseph, it's him. Dude, that has to be him. It looks just like him. That's, that's him. Bro, we're just sitting next to a murderer. I don't know. What if he kills us? Oh, man. I hope he doesn't kill me. What are you guys saying over there? Nothing. Nothing no, about no, no, you. Yeah, no, we're not talking about you. Not at all. Yeah, no, we're, we're not talking about how you look just like the guy. Wait, wait. wait. You guys don't think that that's me on TV? No, oh, no. Cody. Yeah, not you. <laughs> you don't look anything like him. Yeah, it's, not, it's not like I'll have the same glasses or you both have the same name or the same shirt. Nope. Well, I mean, guys, come on, look. I mean, there's a lot of people in the world named Cody, and he doesn't even spell it the same. He has a K in his name. And, and like, this is a very popular shirt. Plenty of people have it. And a lot of people have glasses, too. You know, it's not... What? Guys? 911, what's your emergency? Please help, please help! That crazy Cody murder guy's at my house! Yeah, please help us! What, are you sure it's him? It's him, it's definitely him! Uh, all right, we're on our way! <laughs> All right, the cops are on their way. Right, that's them! <laughs> Hello? All right, where is he? He's upstairs. Okay, you boys better stand back. You're lucky he hasn't already strangled you and eaten your fingers already. He's really dangerous. All right, hold on. Dispatch, I'm going to need some backup. I have a feeling he's not going to go quietly. Who are you talking to? I, I'm, I'm talking to Dispatch. Where's your walkie-talkie? Well, I have it. It's, it's where, where, where is it? It's Okay, I don't have a walkie-talkie, okay? I just like to, to, to pretend I'm cool and talk to Dispatch. Well, go, 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 go get him! O okay, I will. Just, dispatch, I'm going to go get him. Huh. I wonder where they went. Get on the ground now! You're under arrest! What's going on? All right. Oh, this one's a flighter. I wish my backup was here. Oh, oh, sorry, I'm late, mate. Dispatch just called me. But but how? I didn't even have a walkie-talkie. Telepathically, mate. Ah, all right. Tackle this kid. Uh, right, uh, stop resisting! You're under arrest. You come uh, with us. Oh, uh, come on. Let's take him to the car. Thank you, officers, for getting that scum off the street. Oh, he's so dangerous. Dude, can you believe our friend Cody was a lunatic this whole time? I know, I never thought he was that crazy. And did you see the way he resisted arrest with those officers? Yeah, dude, if I would've did that, that would've been a whole hashtag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's that at the door? I don't know, dude. What if you escaped the cops? <gasps> no! Oh, okay, wait, 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 let, me, let me answer it. Okay. Uh, hello? No, 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 it's okay, we goofed. Yeah, sorry, mate, we made a mistake. What do you mean you goofed? Well, uh, he's not really the crazy lunatic, he just kind of looks like him. Oh, so I made a mistake. Junior, I'm gonna kill you. What was that? Uh, no, no, sorry, 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 wrong choice of words. Junior, I'm upset with you. But, but he looks he looks like the crazy lunatic, though. Yeah, I know, kinda. But the crazy lunatic has sharp teeth and no hair. I mean, they're both ugly as sin, but that's not a crime. Oh, well, I'm sorry, Cody, for getting you mixed up. You, you just look just like him. <sighs> Whatever, Junior. Well, you call us if you see the real crazy lunatic. Let's go. Uh, who was at the door, dude? It was just Cody. <gasps> oh, no. He brainwashed Junior. I gotta do something about this. Uh, hello? 911? That crazy lunatic is back at the house! Uh, y yes, it's him. I know it's him. Sorry, Cody, for getting you arrested. It's fine, Junior. Just don't let it happen again. Get on the ground! Get on the ground! Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Get, 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 stop resisting. Stop. <laughs> well, Joseph, what'd you do? No, Cody was sitting right next to you. You didn't see him? Oh, Joseph, it's not really him. Cody's not the, the crazy lunatic. They just look exactly the same. Oh, <laughs> how silly. <sighs> Hold on, I'll answer it. Hello? We goofed again. Yeah, we made another mistake. Junior, why do you keep calling the cops on me? I didn't call the cops on you this time. Joseph did. He doesn't know you're not the crazy lunatic. Well, tell him that. Yeah, and uh, make sure you don't call us again unless you really know it's him. Yeah, please, because I'm getting hurt. Come on, Cody. Look, we'll go tell Joseph you're not the crazy lunatic. All right, Joseph. Cody's back. <laughs> no, we won. That crazy lunatic's in my house again. No, 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 Joseph. Hang on, hang on. Cody is not the lunatic. Wait, are you sure, dude? Cody, tell him. I'm not a lunatic, Joseph. It's me, Cody. No, 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 put the phone down. 911? Joseph, stop calling the police! Yeah, yeah, Joseph, you gotta keep calling the cops, you should just go home. Fine, I don't wanna get murdered anyway! <sighs> Alright, Cody, let's go ask Chevy to make us something to eat so we can just forget about this whole you getting arrested thing. Alright, fine. Hey, Chef PB, can you make me and Cody something to eat? Yeah, sure. What do you want? Oh my god, it's Cody the crazy lunatic from the news! Hey, Cody, what do you want to eat? Oh, I don't know. French fries or cheese sticks. He wants cheese sticks or french fries? Oh, okay, okay, I can fix that. <laughs> of course he would want that. Cheese sticks or french fries? <laughs> because he's a lunatic. It reminds him of fingers. He wants to eat fingers. Uh, uh, sure, sure. I can make that for you. How about you, uh, go over there and sit at the table while I call the cops? I mean, I mean, fix your food. <laughs> Come on, Cody. All right. Oh, I gotta stall. <laughs> All right, the food will be out in a minute, guys. Just stay right here. Especially you, Cody. Don't move. Is Chef PB acting weird to you? No, he always acts like that. Hello, 911? Yes, that crazy lunatic Cody, he's here at my house. Yes, I'm sure it's him. He's in the kitchen. Please hurry. 
<laughs> All right, guys, here's the food. Bon appetit. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, so yeah. resistant. Yeah. Get that criminal. <laughs> oh, no, 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 come on, Chef PB. He's not the crazy lunatic. What do you mean? He looks just like him. I know, but it's not him. He, he just looks like him. Oh. Uh, hold on. Hello. This is getting embarrassing. Sorry, mate. Jenny, this is getting ridiculous. Ooh, look, look, look. No one else is going to call the cops on you because everyone knows you're not the lunatic. Yeah, how about this? How about we just don't answer to any more calls from this address? Yeah, I, I like that idea. I like that idea. All right, let's go. All right, Cody, how about this? How about we just don't we don't stay here. We go to a restaurant and get a nice sandwich so we don't have to be here, okay? Okay, that sounds like a good idea. Let's go. Welcome to Footlong Bangers, where we put a footlong in your mouth. What do you want? What do you want, Cody? Uh, I'll have... Oh, my God! Is that Cody Lunatic? Uh, hello? Hey, I don't know why you decided to leave the house. This is the one place you knew we weren't gonna arrest him. I know, but I didn't think anybody else was gonna think he was the lunatic and call the cops. Yeah, well look, I think he should probably just avoid going out in public for a little while, at least until we catch the actual lunatic. Okay, officers. Come on, Cody, come inside. Jenny, I think it would probably be better if I just go home. I'm tired of getting tackled and put in handcuffs. <laughs> Unless it's Ken doing it. <laughs> okay, I'll see you later, Cody. Okay. <sighs> at least I'll be safe at home. Tyrone, I have a question. What is it, baby? And make it quick. You know I don't like all that talking. Why do you cheat on me so much? Look, baby, it gives me time to miss you. Let me explain. When I'm with another chick and she talk, starts to talk too much, I just think about you. And I'm like, man, I should go back to my wife right now. You're so sweet, Tyrone. <laughs> yeah, you know me, baby. Hey, Mom and Dad. Ah, it's that Cody lunatic from the nose! Somebody call the cop! Ah! Get on the ground now! Get on the ground! Hello? What, again? I thought we told you to let him stay here. He got arrested at his own house? Yeah, his parents thought he was the lunatic and they called us. Look, just keep him here this time. Uh, okay. Junior, I'm not safe anywhere. Uh, look, Cody, you're gonna stay with me upstairs. No one's gonna call the cops on you. Come on. <sighs> so, Cody, what do you want to do? Stay in this room forever because I'm tired of being arrested. Ooh, I got an idea, Cody. What if we put a disguise on you and then people won't recognize it's you? What, like a goofy glasses and nose and mustache? No, no, no. Better than that. <sighs> Better than that, huh? Well, Cody, look, it's the best disguise. No one's gonna notice it's you. Well, at least I don't look ridiculous. Look, I'm gonna prove it to you. Chef, baby, get in here! Oh, what do you want, Junior? Who's that? Ah! Is that crazy lunatic in the skies? What? 911? That crazy lunatic's in the house. He's in the sky! No, 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 no! Yeah. Oh, stop resisting! Oh. Yeah, beat him up, beat him up! <laughs> Trying to get away with that. <laughs> I'll get it. Wait, who's that? Hello. Okay, now I'm getting mad. Well, you said you weren't gonna respond to any more calls this address. Yeah, but when we got a call that he was in a disguise, that was really suspicious, you know? Especially because we said not to leave the house. Well, we just wanted to go out in public with him with a disguise. Okay, okay, fine. I'll tell you what. How about we just don't respond to any more calls from this house tonight, no matter what? No matter what? No matter what. All right, let's go. Come on, Cody. <sighs> Sorry, Cody, for the disguise idea. Junior, I'm just gonna sit right here, and I'm not gonna move until they catch the lunatic. <gasps> Say that again. I'm not gonna move until they catch the lunatic. Say those last three words again. Catch the lunatic? We should catch the lunatic! Junior, the police haven't even caught the lunatic. What are we gonna do? Well, if we catch the lunatic, then no one's gonna think you're the lunatic because the lunatic will be in jail. Junior, how are we gonna catch a lunatic? Well, to catch a lunatic, you gotta think like a lunatic. And the cops aren't thinking like a lunatic, so let, let's think about it. The lunatic likes to eat eyeballs. And Shrek eats eyeballs in the movie. He says he squeezes the eyeballs and uses it as jelly on toast. Okay, I don't really see where you're going with this. Well, if we can get an eyeball and put it by the front door, then he'll come find it, and then we'll capture him. But Junior, where are we gonna get an eyeball? Hmm. Oh, I got an idea. In this bag of gross, stretchy body part toys. Okay, but Junior, I don't think the lunatic is just going door to door looking for eyeballs to eat like Halloween candy. Look, it's worth a shot, Cody. Do you, do you wanna stay in this room forever? No. Okay, let's go put this eyeball by the front door, and if we catch him, we call the cops. Okay. All right, Cody, there's the eyeballs. Now we're just gonna have to wait for him to come, and we're gonna jump on him. Junior, this seems dangerous. No, we're gonna clear your name, okay? Come on. <laughs> Is that a yummy eyeball I smell? Ooh, yummy eyeball. Give me yum, 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 yum. All right, Cody, jump on him. Yeah. 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 Ah. 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 Throw him in the closet, throw him in the closet. Ah. Ah. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, 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 you keep the door closed. I'm gonna call the cops. Okay. Come on, please answer, please answer. 911, what's your emergency? Oh, uh, yes, officer, we have the crazy lunatic stuck in the closet right now. No, 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 no. We've done this too many times tonight. What? No, 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 it's true. We really have him this time. No, no, it's what you said last time, and we told you we're not coming over there anymore. No, no, one more time, just one more time. I promise, it's the real crazy lunatic. No, 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 I'm not falling for it. Bye. Oh, no, 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 no. <sighs> They say, Junior. They said they're not coming because there's been too many bad calls that, are, that aren't real. What, what, what do we do now? Oh, okay, okay, how about this, how about this? How about we invite him to dinner, and then we call the cops at dinner, so, so they arrive at dinner. But Junior, you want to invite a serial killer to dinner? Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, open the door. Uh, ah! uh, hey, stop it! Hey, stop, stop it right now. Okay, how about this? How about you go to dinner with us, and then we call the cops at- Wait, wait no, I'm not telling them that plan. Yeah. Uh, Hold on, hold on. Okay, hold on. Well, you go to dinner with us, yeah. and you eat the waitress's eyeballs at the at the restaurant. Yummy eyeballs. Yeah. Okay. 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 So you come with us. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. Come on. Welcome to Footlong Bangers, where we put a footlong in your mouth. What you want? What do you want, lunatic? <laughs> oh my God! It's a lunatic! Somebody call the cops! Oh, the cops are coming! Get out of here! Come on! Come with us! You got the wrong guy. <sighs> you got the wrong guy. We got the wrong guy. But, we also got the right guy! See? Look how similar they look. Anybody can make that mistake. Well, you got the right guy. Yeah, yeah, we were driving back and we just found him munching on a guy's face, so we grabbed him. Okay, well at least Cody's free. Come on, Cody. Yeah. Well, Cody, how's it feel to be a free man now? Feels pretty good, Junior. I'm tired of being in handcuffs. Anyway, let's check the weather and see if it was gonna rain. Alright, let's do it. Breaking news, okay? A crazy lunatic named Junior is on the loose. If you see this man, please call 911 immediately. Whoa, that guy's crazy! What? Uh, 911? What? Get on, Get on the ground! ground! So, Joseph, what do you want to do today? Oh, dude, I got this blowtorch thing from the gas station. We should totally set stuff on fire. Oh, we can light ant hills on fire. Oh, dude, yeah, totally. And then they can call the fire ant department. Wait, wait, ants have fire departments? Yeah, that's why they're called fire ants. They put out fires. Oh, dude, I didn't know that. That's genius. Okay, so let's call Cody and invite him. Wait, wait, where is he? I don't know. He usually shows up with you. Let me get my phone and call him. Okay. All right, Joseph, it's ringing. Hello? Hey, Cody! Me and Joseph want to burn down Ant Hills. You should come over. That sounds fun, guys, but I can't. I'm at the park with Luke. What? Luke? You got a dog? N no, he's not my dog. He's just my friend Luke. Like, from Darth Vader? What, you mean from Star Wars? Well, he's Darth Vader's son, so he came from Darth Vader's testicles, so he's from Darth Vader. Well, I see what you mean, but no, he's not Luke Skywalker. So you got a dog? No, he's not a dog, Junior. He's my human friend named Luke. You have friends? We're your friends. What? But Luke is my friend too, and I'm with him at the park. Well, come hang out with us. Luke sounds annoying and lame. Junior, I'm gonna hang up now. What? No. <sighs> hey, what's wrong? Cody has a new friend named Luke. Wait, wait. Cody has friends? Where are his friends? He has, he has some other friends. I, I think he's grounded. He just doesn't have to tell us. Yeah, he has to be grounded, dude. He well, doesn't have friends. Yeah, let's go to the park and see if he's there. Okay. We. Yeah, Luke, you're doing it. Hey, Cody. What, Junior, what are you doing here? This must be your new friend, Dookie. What, you mean Luke? Yeah, Dookie. These must be your friends, Cody. I don't know that I'd call them my friends. Why do you want to hang out with this loser and not us? Because he's lonely and he needs a friend. Oh, I get it. His parents are rich. And if you think if you can hang out with him, that his parents will give you money. What, he's not rich, Junior. I know a rich kid when I see one. He's rich. What, Junior, just get out of here. Well, I guess me and Joseph are just gonna go back to my house and eat Go-Gurts. <gasps> go dude? Yeah, I only have three of them, so I wonder who the third one's gonna go to. I Ooh. don't care, Junior, just leave. You don't care about a Go-Gurt? This, okay. this kid must have Danimals or, 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 or pizza rolls or something. <laughs> Danimals. This kid's not playing around, let's get out of here. Let's go, dude. I'm sorry about that, Luke. <sighs> Uh, what's wrong, dude? You haven't even touched your Gogurt. I'm just sad. Why? Because we can't use the plushies anymore. Oh, yeah. And also because Cody doesn't want to hang out with us? Like, what does Luke have that we don't have? Uh, money? Right? He's rich. I knew he was rich. Yeah, he has a rich face. Yeah, he's like, oh, I have money. He's, he was looking at me like, oh, you're poor. I have money, man. Yeah, I saw him looking at you, dude. <sighs> what can we do to make Cody hang out with us again? Uh, I don't know. Ooh, I got an idea. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We can invite a bunch of girls over. And then we call Cody, and when he hears all the girls over here, he's gonna wanna come over here. But how are we gonna get girls over here, dude? Gogurt? Women love Gogurt! Oh, dude, I totally forgot! Okay, I'm gonna start calling girls. You call girls too. Okay, dude. Joseph, look at all these girls sucking our Gogurts. I know, dude. It's so cool. I'm calling Cody right now. It's ringing. Okay. Hello? Hey, Cody. What are you doing? Still hanging out with Luke. Guess what I'm doing? Listen. <laughs> I, I really don't want to say, Junior. It's a girl sucking my go -gurt. Oh, well, good for you. Yeah, a girl can suck your go if you come up right now and no one's touched it. No, that's okay, Junior. I'm saving my go for marriage. You're saving your go for marriage? Loser! What a dweeb. Well, yeah, your mom said you're a dweeb. What? Mom? Yeah, she's here sucking my go too. If you squeeze the base, more comes out. Oh, she's learning. Well, okay, Junior, I'm gonna hang up now. What? Don't hang up! <sighs> he hung up. Okay, so, um, you guys can leave now. We don't need you anymore. Yeah, Lee, scram! We're finished with you! Yeah, we got what we wanted out of you! Now leave! Thank you! <sighs> so what do we do now, dude? I don't know, Joseph. If Gogurts and girls didn't work, I don't know what will. Let's start thinking. Okay, what does Luke have that we don't have besides money? I mean, he's bald. <gasps> Say that again, Joseph. Uh, he's bald. 
He's bald, and you're bald too. So, so if I shave my head, I'll be bald, and then we'll all be bald, and then Cody will want to hang out with us because we're bald. Yeah, we'll be matching, dude. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go shave my head right now. All right, Joseph, how do I look? Uh, you look bald. We're the Super Bald Brothers. Wait, can I say that? Is that copyright? Okay, we can say that. All right, so now I'm gonna call Cody, tell him to come over. He's gonna see that we're bald. He's gonna wanna hang out with us. Well, if he didn't come over the first few times you asked him, why would he come over now? Because I'm gonna use my secret weapon. All right, Joseph, it's ringing. Wait, what's the secret weapon, dude? Just listen. Junior, stop calling me. I'm blocking your number. Oh, Cody! Oh, it's so awful! What's wrong, Junior? Well, your mom, she sucked my go dry, and then she was leaving, and she fell down the stairs and broke her neck! What? Yeah, yeah, and I don't know whether to call the hospital or the aquarium, because you know she's a whale. What, Junior, is my mom hurt or not? Yeah, she's hurt. She's not moving. You need to come over right now. Well, okay, I'll be right there. Okay. So now when he comes over, he's going to see that we're bald, and he's going to want to hang out with us. Dude, perfect plan! That must be him! Hello? Is my mom okay? What, what are you, what are you doing? I'm bald. What, yeah, I can see that, but is my mom okay? I lied, look at my head. But you lied? I'm bald! What, I don't care, Junior. But Luke is bald! But Junior, so is that why you guys shaved your heads? Yeah, we want to be like Luke, because he's so cool, right? But that's not why I'm hanging out with Luke. So then what is it? It's because he's rich, right? No, he's not rich. So he's paying you to say that he's not paying you? No, Junior. Wait, th th what is it? Well, Junior, you, you, you just wouldn't understand. No, no, tell me. I, I don't understand. No. Good, tell, tell Cody. It has to be either because he's bald or rich. Which one is it? it? It's neither, Junior. He just... He has problems. Problems? Like, he's psycho? No. I, is he mad? No! Oh, oh, no. Joseph, I got it. He kidnapped your family. And oh, he's, no. he's holding them in, your, in his basement. What? And he says if you're not friends with them, he's going to kill them. No, Junior. My mom was just here eating gogurt. She's fine. Well, what if he paid someone to act like your mom? I mean, your mom did look fatter than usual. Okay, I'm leaving. What is it? Cody! No! Okay, Joseph, this is worse than we thought. He kidnapped Cody's family. So, we have to call the cops. Okay, dude. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer, it's awful. I need to report a crime. All right, I love a good crime story. Okay, so my friend's family, they got kidnapped, and they're being held captive in a basement. But, wow, that's pretty serious. Yes, I need you to arrest the kid that did it. His name is Luke. Okay, uh, do you have an address? Yeah, it's right here. I tracked my friend using five of my friends. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be right over there. I'll get him. You did good, bro. You did good. Hello? Uh, hey, I got a report that some kid named Luke was holding your family hostage here in a basement. What? Did Junior tell you to come here? Uh, yes. Alright, I'm back. Did you arrest Luke and put him in the electric chair? No. Why not? Because I didn't find anything. Did you check the basement? He didn't even have a basement. Did you check the attic? Yes. Did you find Cody's family? His family's fine. Cody FaceTimed them right in front of me and they answered. But it's a mansion. There's a lot of rooms. They could have been in any of those rooms. They didn't live in a mansion. What? It must have been the beach house. Oh, yeah. Look, kid, it's not funny to accuse people of fake crime. It's not a fake crime. It's real. Now, call me when there is a real crime. <sighs> Dude, what are we going to do now? It leaves me no choice. We have to commit a real crime and blame it on Luke. Like what? I'm going to grab the toilet paper. Ooh, toilet paper. Okay, are you sure you want to do this, dude? Yes, we're going to TP my house and blame it on Luke. All right, you don't have to ask me twice. Wow, Joseph, look at all that toilet paper. I know, dude, that's vandalism. Junior, I saw you TP the house. Oh, you're in trouble now. I'm going to tell your daddy. Bye, Good ticket, Joseph. Okay, let's go. Let me out. Oh man, Joseph. Oh, that was close. Sheppy would have told my dad. I know, dude, and you would have got grounded. Yeah, we can't have that. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna call the cops and we're gonna say that Luke TP'd my house. Hey, yeah, yeah, he did. Hey there, somebody call the cops? Yes, officer. Somebody TP'd my house. Yeah, I saw that. This is a very serious crime. Now, who do you think did this? Do you have any enemies? Well, officer, be strong, dude. Be strong. I know who did it. You can do it. I just don't want him to come after me. Um, his name is, uh, Luke. But Luke? Yeah, Luke, the kid's house you went to earlier. Oh, okay, I'm starting to think maybe you just have a thing against this Luke kid. No, it was him. It was him. He showed up with his, 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 his group of friends, all named Luke, and then they TP'd my house. Mm-hmm. Well, do you have any evidence of this? Yes, I do. My security cameras. Come here. Okay. All right, officer. Here's the security camera footage. So if you look at the top right-hand corner, you notice Luke and his group of buddies, all named Luke, just show up to my house, right? Mm -hmm. They're all armed with toilet paper. And they're like, we hate Junior. We're going to ruin his night. So they all just start throwing toilet paper all over my house. See, boom, there goes one roll and another roll and another roll. And they just start destroying my house with toilet paper. And they run off because they notice I have security cameras. And they're like, ah, oh, we hate Junior. 
So you see, look, they committed a huge crime and they graffitied my house with toilet paper. Those fiends. Yeah, so uh, I need you to go arrest Luke. All right, now you're sure it's Luke that did this, right? Because he's going to jail. Oh, it was definitely Luke. Joseph, wasn't it Luke? Yeah, of course it's Luke. Who else could it be? Yeah, it was Luke. He said, my name's Luke. Yeah. You, you couldn't hear it because the audio. Yeah, he said, he said his name was Luke. Okay, all right, I'll go get him. <sighs> yes. Going down, dude. Hello? All right, I'm here for a kid named Luke. What? That's me. All right, you're under arrest for TPing a house. What? He didn't TP a house. Oh, yes, he did. I saw the proof. You're coming with me. Oh. So what are we going to do now, dude? Well, now that Luke's in jail, Cody's going to come begging to hang out with us. Junior! Hey, buddy. Don't hey, buddy me. Do you prefer Amigo? No, Junior. You get Luke arrested. Actually, Luke got himself arrested because he decided to TP my house. No, he didn't, Junior. I was with him the whole time. You helped him TP my house? No, Junior. You TPed your own house and you blamed it on Luke. See, that's why we're best friends, because you know me so well. Junior, get away from me. What's wrong, Cody? You get to hang out with us now. <sighs> Junior, do you want to know what's really happening? Yes. The reason I was hanging out with Luke is because he's terminally sick. So he's really good at skateboarding. No, Junior, I mean he has three days left to live. He's going to die soon. Don't tell me that. Now I'm going to feel bad. You should feel bad because now he's going to die in jail. Don't tell me that. Now I'm going to feel bad. Junior! Look, look, we're going to get him out of jail, okay? But how? We're going to dig a hole under the prison and sneak him out. Junior, that's stupid. Now I have to go tell his parents why they're not going to see their son on his last day on Earth. Wait, is he going to space? But no, Junior, he's going to die. What? You, you leave Earth when you die? I guess so. Well, I want to die and go to Mars. That sounds really sick. But anyway, no, I feel really bad because because of your stupid idea to get him arrested, I now know. he's going to be in jail. I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. I goofed, okay? Yeah, you goofed. You big goof. Well, I'm sorry, dude. God, please help us. What do you want? God, we really need your help. Yeah, I know. Did you see what happened? Yeah, you're going to hell. That was pretty messed up. What, I am? Yeah. Wait, no, 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 I'm sorry. I, I want to fix everything. Okay, so what can I do to get Luke out of jail and to fix his sickness? Hmm, that's a lot of work you're asking me to do. The only currency I accept is Facebook likes. Facebook likes? Yep, one like equals one prayer. Oh, that's why there's so many posts asking for that? Yeah, exactly. Okay, so how many likes to get Luke out of jail and to heal his sickness? Hmm, for that... 10,000 likes on Facebook. That's a lot of likes! Yeah, and they're not easy to get either. Okay, so, Joseph, we need to make a post on Facebook that gets 10,000 likes. Go! Okay, dude, I can do it. All right, we're, we're, we're gonna do it, God. We're gonna do it. Just stay right here. Dude, 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 I did it! Wait, you did it? I got 142,000 likes in four minutes! Wait, in four minutes? Oh, yeah, dude. It's a classic Minions post. Look, it says, R.I.P. I just died. If you don't care, stop reading. If you would care, like this pic. If you would miss me, comment a heart. If you're not scared, repost to see who your real friend Oh my god, that was genius, Joseph! No, dude! You only asked for 10,000 likes. We got 142,000. Mm, let me absorb the likes. Oh, unlimited power! I'm now a mega god! Can you get Luke out of jail and heal his sickness? I can do anything! Pooh! All right, guys, everything's back to normal and we can all be happy. No, Junior, I'm still mad. But why? Because of all the bad stuff you did to Luke. But he's out of jail now and he, he's cured. One Minions post doesn't take back all the bad stuff you did. <sighs> Fine, Cody, I'll apologize. Hey, Luke. Hmm. I'm really sorry that I got you arrested, but you're out of jail now. So it's in the past, so get over it. Mm-hmm. Okay, so um, I guess you're part of our friend group now. No, actually, he's not. He's moving to Vermont. I was just down here for treatment. Oh, well, I want to add you on Facebook. What's your last name? Emia. Uh, okay. All right, Joseph, we have to add him on Facebook. His name is Luke Emia. So, guys, what do you want to do today? Hey, uh, hold on, guys. I'm getting a phone call. What, who could be calling Cody? He doesn't have friends. I know, right? Hello? What? Really? Oh, my God. Uh, what was wrong, Cody? My parents just died in a car accident. Oh, no! It's terrible! Oh, Cody, I'm so sorry. What, what can we do for you? April Fool's! Ah, that was a good one, Cody! Oh, man, he had me. Yeah, you really got us, Cody. Yeah. But guys, I have a secret to tell you. What? I drink my own blood. Wait, you drink your own blood? Yeah, I think I'm a vampire. All I want to do is drink blood. I'm just a vampire. Oh, my God. <laughs> April Fool's. <laughs> it's a fruit punch bottle. Oh, thank God. Yeah, for a second there, I thought it was actually blood. Uh, it is blood. It's just in a fruit punch bottle. Oh. Uh, oh. Hey, Cody. Yeah? There's something I've always been wanting to tell you. Yeah? I love you, <laughs> and I really want to kiss you on that big, pebble-filled mouth of yours. Really? Yeah, can you, can you just please do me a favor and kiss me one time? Oh, uh, okay. All right, let's kiss. Mm, hey, bro, <laughs> ah! I don't want to kiss your ugly face. <laughs> he fell for it, dude. Yeah. Oh, okay. 
Mm. All right, so, um, all right, guys, I think that's enough April Fool's jokes for today, okay? So can we, let's, let's just watch TV. Yeah, okay. okay. Oh, um, where's the remote? Where is the remote? Uh, Cody, can you get it? It's behind the couch. Oh, okay. I, I don't see it. April Fool's! <laughs> You're an <laughs> idiot! <laughs> yeah, why'd you think it was behind the couch? Well, do you know, that was just kind of annoying. Okay, can you actually grab the remote for me, though? Well, where is it? It's on the floor right there. I dropped it. Okay. Junior, I don't see it. Hey, bro, bro! Go for it again! Idiot! Junior, come on! Oh, okay, no, seriously, can you grab the remote? It's, it's between the cushions. But is it really? Yeah, look, look, I, I just can't reach it. Can you grab it for me? Okay, better be under here. Junior, it's not- Hey, bro, bro! He's such a dummy, dude! Idiot, idiot, idiot! You know what, Junior, I'm not looking for the remote anymore. <sighs> Joseph, can you grab the remote for me? Okay, where is it, dude? It's behind that pillow. Okay. Yeah. Hey, bro, bro! Stop it. Oh, okay, seriously, seriously. It's it's in the it's in the bathroom by the sink. No, no, I'm not looking for it. Uh, Joseph's in the bathroom by the sink. Okay, I get it. Uh dude, I don't see it here! Hey, bro! Oh, oh, okay, okay, seriously, I'll go I'll go get her. Alright guys, I got the remote. Guys, the remote's dead. Really? Try it. Okay. Well, Junior, it works fine. Hey, bro! Not even really Ow! Junior, lying and hitting people are not April Fool's pranks. Yeah, they are. Let's just watch the news. Breaking news, UK. NASA has an urgent message right now. Let's go to the press conference. Hey there, it's me, a guy from NASA. So uh, we have some pretty scary news. Uh, it seems that there's a meteor that is going to come to Earth, and in the next 10 minutes, it's going to kill everybody in the world. So, uh, we apologize for the short notice. What? The world's ending? Oh no! Oh, there's so many things I haven't done yet! Like milk a cow! Milk a cow? Yeah! That was the one thing you wanted to do? Yeah, everybody wants to milk a cow, who doesn't? We can call Cody's mom over so he can do it real quick. Oh, shit burn! Yeah, well I'll never be able to hear Junior apologize for all the jokes he's made about my mom. Because they're not jokes, it's the truth. Your mom's fat. I'll never get to see your mom lose weight. April Fools! <laughs> Come on, you didn't really think we were gonna get killed by a meteor, right? Like, would I be this cop? Come on, you guys are dumb. <sighs> Even NASA's doing April Fools jokes. I wanna do an April Fools joke on Chef Peepee. Yeah, dude, we gotta do a good one on him. Ooh, I got an idea. Let's shoot him in the eye with this Nerf toy. Oh, that's a good idea, dude. Right? Ow, Junior, that's not really a prank. That's that's just assault. It's gonna be funny. I'm gonna shoot him in the eye, and he's gonna go, Ow, I'm blind. I'm gonna say April Fools. <laughs> well, how about we do a less painful prank like this whoopee cushion? A whoopee cushion? Yeah, when he sits on it, it'll go <laughs> and it'll sound like he farted. What are we, five? Oh, I just thought it'd be funny. What, what, what are we, five years old? Little baby wanna use his whoopee cushion? Oh, little baby Cody like that? Little baby Cody wanna use, make a little fart joke? Oh, look at little baby Cody. Wants to use a silly little whoopee cushion. Would, would baby like that? Would little baby Cody like to use stupid little fart whoopee cushion? Oh, yeah, I think uh, so. Come on, baby Cody. Come on, baby, go, 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 grab your stupid whoopee cushion. Okay. Grab your little baby whoopee cushion. Let's go prank Chef with your little fart, stupid, dumb whoopee cushion baby toy. Okay, jeez. <laughs> All right, guys, there's Chef Pee, Pee. All right, little, little baby. How are you going to get me to sit on your little poopy cushion? You know, Junior, I'm kind of not wanting to do this anymore. What? You don't want to do it anymore? What's wrong with the little baby? You want to make a little poopy joke. Well, you keep calling me a widow baby, and it makes me not want to do it. Because your prank is a stupid idea. And how are you going to get me to sit on the whoopee cushion? I don't know. Well, I got an idea, come on. All right, little baby Cody. Chef Pee, Pee takes naps here all the time. So when he takes a nap, he's gonna lay on it, it's gonna fart, and you're gonna laugh at your little five-year-old fart joke. Well, how are you gonna get him to lay down? Well, I'm gonna pretend to be my dad and tell him he can go on break. And then when he comes to lay down on his break, and you're gonna laugh at his little stupid joke. Okay. All right. Okay, there's Chef Pee, Pee cleaning. I just gotta sound like my dad. <clears throat> hey, uh, Chef Pee, Pee uh, you can go on break. You done a lot of hard work lately. What, a break? Oh my God, I never get breaks. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, guys, let's watch Chef Pee sit on the whoopee cushion. Oh, man, I am so tired. I can't wait to take a nap. Wait, what? A whoopee cushion? I can't believe Junior actually thought I would fall for that. I'm not stupid. Oh, <laughs> it's April Fool's Day. I totally forgot. You know what? I'm going to play a joke on him. <laughs> I'm going to make him think I actually died. I'm going to sit on the whoopee cushion and, uh, uh yeah, he's going to think I had a heart attack. <laughs> I'm a genius. Uh, Oh man, I am so tired. Oh, I can't wait to sit on this couch. You know what? I hope there's not a whoopee cushion on here. Oh my god! Oh, my heart! My heart! Oh, I'm dying! I think I just had a heart attack! Oh, oh no! Chef Bibi had a heart attack!
heart attack. <laughs> More like a fart attack. This is no time for jokes, Cody. Your joke killed Chef Pee Pee. Well, I didn't think the whoopee cushion would kill him. Maybe that's why people don't use whoopee cushions anymore, because they're deadly. You wanted to shoot him in the eye. It would have just blinded him, dude. You had to be selfish. Yeah, would you rather be blind or dead? Hmm. Well, I don't know, actually. What do we do with Chef Pee Pee? I think we should call a doctor. No, we can't call a doctor, because then me, you, and especially Joseph are going to go to jail. Yeah, it's true. That's the times we're living in. Yeah. Cody, why'd you have to kill Chef Pee Pee? I didn't want to kill Chef Pee Pee. Besides, you're the one who put the whoopee cushion there. But it was your evil mastermind murder plan that did it. I didn't do anything, so I'm out of here, dude. Yeah, be safe, Joseph. He can't get caught. He'll go to jail, definitely. Uh, okay, so what do we do with Chef Pee Pee? I think we bury him. What, bury him? Yeah, we bury him in the backyard as deep as we can so no one ever finds him. Wait, really? Yeah. Junior, if we get caught, we're going to jail. And my loose butt will last in prison. It will? Oh, yeah, it'll last for a long time. And as much as I'd enjoy it, I'm claustrophobic and I don't want to live in a cell. Do you think there's Fortnite in jail? Probably not, Junior. Otherwise, everybody would be doing crimes. Yeah, okay. So let's go grab a box and bury Chef Pee in the backyard. Okay. <laughs> Chef Pee in a box now. A shoe box? It's the only box I have. He looks so peaceful. I miss Chef Pee Pee. Yeah, he's burning macaroni and cheese in heaven now. Are you sure he's in heaven? What do you mean? He might be in hell. What, really? Why? He was a really bad person. He liked to push old ladies downstairs. Oh my god, that's terrible. I never did that. What? Did you hear that? April Fools! He didn't do that. Oh, thank god. I thought Chef Pee was a bad person there for a second. Chef Pee not a bad person. He just didn't know how to cook. Oh yeah. He sucked at cooking. Oh, terrible. Awful. The worst food I've ever tasted. Disgusting. If he makes food for God, he's gonna go to hell. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's go bury Chef Pee in the backyard. In the backyard. Like a, like a hamster. Yeah, like, like a hamster. All right, Cody, let's go bury Chef Pee Pee. Well, we need a shovel, Junior. Oh, I got a shovel, come on. <laughs> oh man, they're about to start burying me. And soon as they start throwing dirt on me, I'm gonna bust out of this box and they're gonna think I'm a zombie. <laughs> it's gonna be hilarious. All right, Cody, the shovel's in here. Wait, 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 Junior. What? We should duct tape the box closed. Wh why? Well, because we don't want bugs to eat Chef Pee Pee's gorgeous body. You're right! If we don't duct tape the box shut, then bugs will be able to eat him and eat his brains. Yeah, yeah, you don't want that. All right, so grab some duct tape while I grab the shovel. Okay. All right, Cody, start taping the box up. Yeah, Junior, I'm really glad we decided to listen to loud rock music in these headphones. It really distracts from how tragic this whole thing is. Yeah, start taping. Okay. Wait, what's that noise? Are they taping the box shut? Guys, let me out! I'm alive! I'm alive! Let me out! Ugh, this song rocks. Yeah, you're shaking the box a lot, Cody. Oh, sorry. It's shaking a lot. <laughs> Stop! All right, I think it's good, Junior. All right, let's go bury him. Okay. Okay. There's Chef Pee Pee in the ground. Yeah, this is what he would have wanted. All right, start burying him, Cody. Got it. Okay. Oh, poor Chef Pee Pee. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. Guys, this isn't funny! Stop burying me alive, guys! This isn't funny! This isn't funny! Stop burying me! Please, please, please! Stop, stop it right now! Yeah, I did how to hold him. Oh, poor Chef Pee Pee. Do you have anything nice to say about him? Ah, uh, yeah, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, he, uh, he. He, he could burn water. I'll, I'll give him that. Yeah. Yeah. He, he had a nice butt, I guess. Yeah, he did. Yeah, he did. Um, um Chef Pee Pee, you were my chef for a lot of years. You helped me grow up to be the man that I'm going to be one day. Probably going to go to prison. Yeah. I love you, Chef Pee Pee. <laughs> oh, Cody. I miss Chef Pee Pee. Yeah. I'll never forgive you for killing my chef. Well, oh, I'm sorry he died from a fart. I mean, he would have died just as easily from being shot in the eye. Who's at the door? I don't know. I'm gonna go answer the door. Hello? Ah! Hey, 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 kid, it's okay. Cups aren't scary. We're your friends. Okay, what are you doing here? Oh, is Chef Pee Pee home? Well, why? why? Why Chef Pee Pee? Well, why are you asking for him? Well, I found his wallet and I want to return it to him. I can give it to him. Just give it to me. I can give it to him. No, no, legally it has to be me that returns it. Why? Why? I live with him. He trusts me. I can give it to him. Well, but you might steal it, so it's gotta be me. No, I'm not gonna steal it. Chef Pee Pee loves me and, and I know all the things about him. So if you just give me the wallet, I can give it to him. No, 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 that's fine. Just, just, where, where is he? Where, where's Chef Pee Pee? Yeah. Uh, he's underground, working, he, he's working underground, he works on the Underground Railroad. The, the Underground Railroad? Yeah, in New York City, on the subway, he works on, on those railroad tracks. Well, okay, well that's not what that is. So just give me the wallet and I'll give it to him when he gets back. H hold on, something weird's going on here. Chef Pee Pee, he's a chef, not a train conductor. This, this is kind of strange, maybe I should come in and have a look around. No, 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 okay, okay, look, I'll, I'll tell you what's going on. 
Chef Pee Pee was murdered. What, really? Yeah, but my friend Cody, and he's trying to cover it up. He, he, here's what happened. Uh, Cody wanted to do an April Fool's joke on him, and, and he put a whoopee cushion on the couch, and Chef Pee Pee sat on it, and it farted so loud, Chef Pee Pee had a heart attack, and then we buried his body in a shoebox in the backyard. <laughs> Oh, okay, I see what's going on here. It's an April Fool's prank. Very good. No, 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 no it's not an April Fool's joke. It's real. It, it really happened. Sheppy B's dead. I can take it to the body right now. Yeah, yeah, of course you can. Well, that was pretty good, kid. I almost fell for that. But next time, make the death a little less ridiculous, because dying from a heart attack after you sit on a whoopee cushion, that's that's not believable. It really happened, though. His body's in the backyard right now. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You're taking the joke too far, so so just forget it. But, but you know, I gotta tell you, I was actually gonna pull a prank on Chef Pee because this isn't even his wallet. This is my wallet. I was going to give it to him and say, April Fools, that's not really a wallet. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, good one. So uh, have a good night. Well, no, no, no. It's, that's not a joke. It's real. I'm trying to admit to a crime. <sighs> oh. Who's at the door, Junior? Uh, uh, the cops. The cops, huh? You didn't snitch on me, did you? Because if you did, I'll kill you. No, 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 no. I didn't tell him anything. Liar. Oh, no. I heard you. You told him I killed Chef Pee Pee. Well, I, I, didn't, I didn't know what to say. Who's that? I don't know, but I'm coming with you in case it's the cops so I can tell them my side of the story. Oh, uh, don't bring that. Don't, don't, bring, don't bring the toy. Fine. Yeah, they'll think it's real. Hello? I am going to kill you! Ah, Chef Pee Pee's a zombie! Ah! I'm not a zombie. I was playing a prank on you to make you think I was dead and you decided to bury me in the backyard. Oh. What? Is, so it was an April Fool's prank? Yes, it was an April Fool's prank! That was a pretty good one. Yeah, it's pretty good, yeah. Oh, I'm going to kill you! Ah! Jeffy, it's time for dinner! What's for dinner, Danny? Uh... Don't you say it! Green beans? Wrong answer, Danny! Uh, Jeffy, why'd you shoot me in the face with a tennis ball blaster? Cause I don't wanna eat your crappy food! Then what do you wanna eat, Jeffy? Uh, A sandwich! Okay, then let's go get you a stupid sandwich. Gooch! Welcome to Foot Long Bangers! What kind of sandwich you want, baby? Uh, can I get a foot long banger with cheese? Okay, you want some ham? Yes, I would like ham. Okay, what about some turkey? Yeah, I'll take some turkey. Well, what about some bacon? Yeah, I'll take some bacon. And what about some roast beef? Yeah, I'll take some roast beef. Okay, well, why don't you chip between my legs then? <laughs> what, what? Freeze, everyone on the ground now! Ah, Jeffy, run! Put the money in the bag. Ah! Oh, but I, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. All right, that's all the money. Oh, sorry for the, the, the tennis ball to the face. Oh my god, Jeffy, we just saw a robbery happen. We just saw a robbery. But I didn't get my sandwich. Jeffy, forget about your sandwich. We just saw someone rob a store. What do we do? Do we call the cops? We go back and get my sandwich. Jeffy, shut up about your stupid sandwich. Who's that? Oh, oh, hold on, Jeffy. Oh, let me see who that is. Uh, hello? What? The cops! Thank God you're here! I was just about to call you! Why? To turn yourself in? What, turn myself in? No, what? Well, you're under arrest. Under arrest for what? For robbing a sandwich shop. Well, I, I didn't rob a sandwich shop! Oh, yeah? Well, we found your hat at the scene of the crime. My hat? Oh, okay, well, I was at the sandwich shop, and it must have fallen off when I ran away. Yeah, you were running away because you just robbed the sandwich shop. Well, no, no, I ran away because the robber came in, and he robbed the sandwich shop. Okay, what'd the robber look like then? Well, he, had a, he had a ski mask on. But really? Like in a cartoon? Yeah. Oh, Oh, what, did he have like a big bag with a money sign on it too? Yeah, yeah, he did. Come on, what do you think, I was born yesterday? Because I wasn't. I'm 42. Okay, obviously you don't look like you were born yesterday. Owie, okay, well you look old too. Okay, boomer. Well, well, okay, look, I didn't rob a sandwich shop. I was there with my son buying a sandwich, and my son's upstairs right now. L let's go ask my son. He, he will vouch for me. I did not rob a sandwich shop. All right. All right, officer, there's my son who was with me during the robbery. Hey, Daddy. I just opened up my piggy bank. Look at all his money. And there's the money you stole. What? No, that's his piggy bank money. That's not the kind of money you keep in a piggy bank. What kind of choice was he doing that he has that kind of money? Well, I pretend to be a girl online and I sell pictures of my feet to weirdos. Oh, man, I wish I had feet. Wait, wait, is that a tennis ball blaster? Yeah. Well, that's exactly what was used in the robbery. Oh, come on. Everybody has a tennis ball blaster. Well, I don't. Well, you're just a square. Well, okay. What is it? Make fun of me, Day? Why do you hate me so much? God. Well, be because you're accusing me of a robbery that I didn't commit. Well, look what I have to work with. We found your hat at the scene of the crime. You have a whole bunch of money that's missing. And here's a tennis ball blaster that was used in the robbery. Okay, but that's just all a coincidence. Yeah, okay, whatever. How about we go back to the scene of the crime and see if that jogs your memory? Okay, fine. My son wants a sandwich anyway, so Jeffy, just stay here. All right, daddy. 
All right, here we are at the scene of the crime. Look familiar? Welcome to Foot Long Bang. Hold on, ma'am, just one minute. Of course it looks familiar. I was just here. Robbing the place? No, I was ordering a sandwich. Well, then where's the sandwich? She never had time to make it because the robber came in. Wh which was you? Because you were the robber. Well, no, no, I was just ordering a sandwich. All right, I'm going to ask the cashier if she recognizes you. Uh, of course she's going to recognize me. I was just here. Ma'am, have you ever seen this man before? Yeah, he was the last person I saw before I got knocked out by a tennis box. Oh, really? Yeah, because I was here ordering a sandwich. Now, ma'am, what was the last thing he said to you before he knocked you out with a tennis ball? He was trying to get the roast beef that's between my legs. Well, no, I wasn't. Oh, this doesn't look too good for you, buddy. What? Just, just check the cameras. The cameras don't work. They're purely for decoration. Oh, what? I've never heard of that before. Okay, look, you're under arrest because we have a witness here that says you were here on the day of the robbery and we found your hat at the scene of the crime. Well, just, just check for fingerprints. You're wearing gloves. Oh, come on. You're coming with me. No, no tell, tell the truth. All right, say bye to your son. All right, Jeffy, apparently I'm going to jail for armed robbery. How long are you going to be gone for, Danny? You're facing 35 to life. Life? Well, no one, no one, you know, went to sleep forever. Well, that's the law. Apparently I'm going to jail for 35 years, probably. Well, what if I get hungry? There's Lunchables in the fridge. But what if I want wings? Just use your piggy bank money. Can I call my lawyer? You can meet him at the jail. Come on. <sighs> All right, Goodman. Tell it to me straight. Well, Mario, I reviewed your case. And? And you are so effed. What do you mean? The prosecution's going to have a field day with you, Mario. They have so much evidence. What do they have? They have your hat at the scene of the crime, and they have witness testimony from the employee saying that you were the last person she saw before she blacked out. Oh, look, I know it looks like I did it, but I didn't do it. Well, if it looks like poop and smells like poop, then what is it, Mario? Poop? Ding, ding, ding! Poop! Your poop, Mario. But, but I was just there buying a sandwich. Well, Mario, do you have an alibi? Where were you during the crime? I was at the restaurant. Shut up. I want you to shut that dirty little mouth. I never want to hear you say that again, Mario. But I was at the restaurant. Shut up! You were on the beach in the Bahamas drinking fruity drinks from some dude named Pepito. No, no, I wasn't. That's a lie. I know, Mario, but if you want to win this, you have to lie. You have to lie, lie, lie. And once you're done lying, you have to lie some more, and then you're going to tell Tell one more lie with a cherry on top. But, but I want to tell the truth. Okay, if you want to tell the truth, Mario, then do you just want to take the max sentence? Life! Life, Mario! Or do you want to take the plea deal? Well, what's the plea deal? Fifteen years. Well, fifteen years? Yeah, or, well, seven and a half with good behavior. I don't want the plea deal. I just want to tell the truth, and I want to be found innocent. <sighs> All right, Mario. Let me see what I can do. Okay, I don't, I don't want to take the plea deal. I got it, Mario. Just let me see what I can do. Come on. Shut up, Mario. Let me do all the talking. Okay. All rise for the Honorable Judge Strongbottom. Order! Order! Court is now in session. Mario, you are being charged with armed robbery. How do you plead? Your Honor, we would like to take the plea deal. What? Perfect! Open and shut! Mario, you are hereby sentenced to 15 years in federal prison. Well, that was nice. Let's break for an early lunch. I didn't want to take the plea deal. They had us in a quarter, Mario. I had no other option. All right, you're coming with me. You didn't even try. I don't want to go to jail for 15 years. Seven and a half with good behavior, so be good. Oh. Oh, 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 take that diaper. Oh, 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 oh. Let's just look at that sad face. How am I going to tell him? Okay, I can do this. Come on. Hey there, champ. There's uh, something I need to talk to you about. What's going on? Well, uh, it's about your daddy. He's, uh, he's gonna be in jail for a long time. <laughs> Freaking rip! Pouring out for my daddy, my D-A-double-D-Y! Hope he doesn't drop that show! Right. Well, since he's not gonna be here, uh, we're gonna have to put you in a foster home. For imaginary friends? No, no, not like the TV show. This is a foster home for very real and sad children. Well, why can't I stay here? Well, you're just a kid. You can't live here by yourself while your dad's in jail. Well, my dad didn't do anything. I was there the whole time. Well, it's too late for that, kid. He's already in jail. Well, I'm going to get my dad out of jail. I'm going to prove he's innocent. Well, how are you going to do that, champ? You're going to get a spoon and dig a tunnel under the prison like in a movie or something? No, I'm Detective Jeffy. Dun -dun -dun. Take me to the scene of the crime. Oh, okay. I got nothing better to do. Come on. All right, kid, here we are back at the scene of the crime, but my men sweeped all over this place, so I don't know what you're hoping to find. There's no evidence here. Never question, Detective Jeffy. <laughs> What's that, boy? You found a clue? I'm just gonna take a couple fives and a couple ones. Man, his methods are unusual, but he's the best detective we have. <gasps> What's this? What? That's a hair. What? How did we miss that? A 
one step closer to freeing my daddy. Now I gotta track it. Tastes like clown. Follow me. All right, kids, so why are you setting up a birthday party for yourself? Because we found clown hair at the scene of the crime. And if you set up a birthday party, a clown will come because clowns always go to birthday parties. Well, why do we need a clown to come when you're already here? Oh, 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 ooh, ooh, eh, oh, you want me to go get my doctor outfit on so I can treat that burn? Woo, ha <laughs> yeah. All right, but seriously though, what is, what is the plan? Or we set up a birthday party and a clown will come. So we just gotta sit here until the clown comes. Oh, oh, I think that's him at the door. Let me go see. Hello? Hey, kid. I heard there was a party, so I thought you needed a clown. So I came over, and I brought my tennis ball blaster so I can do tricks. So, you gonna let me in? Yeah, sure. Come on in. All right. All right, here's the clown. No, 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 no. Which one of you kids is the birthday boy? Uh, I guess that'd be him. Oh, I, I didn't mean to do that. I accidentally did that to some woman's face earlier. Hmm. Sorry for making a mess. You guys got any napkins? I'll just use my ski mask I used earlier. Hmm. So how are you guys gonna pay me today? I only accept cash. Hmm. What's my hair doing on the table? Must be falling out. Didn't know I was getting that old. <laughs> Can we hurry up and cut this cake? I'm starving. You really work up an appetite after you rob a sandwich shop. Hmm? Now, wait a minute. Did you rob a sandwich shop earlier? Uh, no. Okay, you were just saying a lot of weird stuff, but I'm sorry for accusing you. Where were you earlier today? I was robbing a sandwich shop. Oh, I knew it! Oh, that's it. You're under arrest, screwball. Oh, rats. Nice job, kid. You're a natural. All right, Mario, you're free to go. Wait, what happened? Well, you should thank your son, Detective Jeffy. He's a real Sherlock Holmes. Jeffy, what'd you do? Daddy, I got that long song that Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. What? She sells seashells by the seashore, you know. But, but what happened? Daddy, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? I, I don't know what happened. Irish wristwatch, you know, rubber baby buggy bumpers. But what happened? Daddy, I'll tell you. A skunk sat on a stump and thunk the stump stunk, but the stump thunk the skunk stunk. What? Exactly, exactly. Greek grapes. Oh, no more no more tongue twisters. What is happening? It was a clown, okay? Which means it was you, because you're a clown. Oh, 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 I got him. Oh, oh, yeah, if you feel like a pimp, go and dust your shoulders off. Uh, oh, uh, look what I'm doing. Uh, because I'm a pimp. Uh, eh. Oh, I'm going to go get my doctor outfit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, alright. So I can treat that burn! Oh, they're gone. Well, oh, man, I put on the doctor outfit and everything, because, you know, it's funny, because doctors treat burns, and... Well, I thought it was funny. I mean, it would have been so funny if you would have heard it. Oh, you're leaving already? Oh, yeah, see you later, man. Oh, see you later. Oh, wait, 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 so I can treat- <laughs> Oh, man, I'm so sick. <laughs> no, Jeffy, stop it. Stop it, Jeffy, I'm sick. I'm sick, Jeffy. Don't stop, no, 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 stop. Stop it, Daddy! Eat your hat, Daddy! No, 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 Stop no, no, it, Jenny! No, no. Give me my hat back! I don't have Hi, to. Mario! Where have you been? Yeah, you've been gone for like a year! I got stuck at a stop sign, Mario! It wouldn't turn green! Cause stop signs don't turn green! Yeah, that's what the cop told me. Daddy, I think she moved to Baltimore! Oh, that's silly, Jeffy. Well, you've been gone for like a year, but I don't really care. I, I, I'm sick, can you just help take care of me? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mario. Let me check to see if you have a fever. Oh my gosh, Mario, you're burning up! I'll go to the store and get you some medicine. No! You're not allowed to leave. Yeah, you might leave and go to Baltimore again or something. No, 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 every time you leave, you leave for like a year. You're gonna stay right here, okay? You're not leaving, you're not going anywhere. Okay, Mario, but let me at least call a doctor, okay? Oh, right, you're gonna call a doctor right here. You're not gonna move. Just pull out your phone and call a doctor. Okay. <coughs> hey there, somebody call a doctor. Oh my gosh, you look horrible. Oh, okay. Now I'm sick and my feelings are hurt. You know, you're not much to look at either. You know, if you were one of the only two girls left on earth, I'd say show me the other one.
Anyway, Mario is really sick. <laughs> Can't you help him? Oh, he's sick. Well, what about me? I'm sick. Nobody seems to care about me. You know, who does the doctor call when he gets sick? Nobody ever seems to care about me or my feelings. And that apple a day thing, that's bull crap. I've been eating an apple every single day and I still got sick. Okay, well, you know what? You shouldn't have became a doctor if you're just gonna whine and complain every time someone gets sick. All right. <laughs> you know what? Your game suck and I'm not helping you. Well, hey, I I need a doctor. Oh. <laughs> what are we going to do? <laughs> Poor Mario, why don't I make you some soup? Does it involve you having to leave the house? No. Okay, then great. Go make me some soup. Just don't leave for a year. Okay. <laughs> oh, Jebby. I'm going to... I'm going to... Marcy, Daddy. Okay, Mario. Here's your alphabet soup. Alphabet soup? And there's a special message in there just for you. Special message. Get well soon, Daddy. Oh, I get what you're trying to do. You haven't been here for a year, so you're trying to get freaky. I mean, I'm sick, but I can still take off my gloves. Jeffy wrote it for you. What? Yeah, Daddy. I spelled it for you. And I also have your spoon right here in my gooch. Ew. Yeah, let me get it for you. But no, no, you don't. <clears throat> Oh, yeah, Daddy, get a whiff of that. No, get away from me, Jeffy. I don't, want, I don't want the stupid spoon. Throw it away. Daddy, here comes your train. No, 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 no. The train's derailed. Put it back. Okay, Daddy. I'll put it back. Wait, no, no, no. Uh, okay, uh, you know what? Uh, I'm not really in the mood for soup. But Mario, it will make you feel better. No, it's fine. I'll just sit here and die. At least let me get you some medicine. Okay, you can get me some medicine. Just don't leave the house. Okay, bye. What? Oh. <sighs> All right, Mario. Here's your medicine. And I brought you some cough drops, too. Okay, first of all, I'm not going to take the cough drops because I feel like I'm choking on them when I'm sucking on them. And I'm not going to take the NyQuil because it tastes horrible and I don't want to go to sleep. You know what, Mario? You're really mean when you're sick, and I'm done trying to take care of you! Okay, if you're gonna cry, can you, like, go in another room? Because I have a headache, and I don't feel good. <laughs> All right, Daddy. I'm Dr. Jeffy, and I'll be taking care of you this evening. Aw, Jeffy, you're so cute wanting to play doctor and take care of your daddy. It's so sweet. Um, excuse me, ma'am? I did 12 years of medical school at Johns Hopkins. I will not have you talk down to me. Now, if you'll excuse me... I need to evaluate my patient. Oh, so cute playing dress up. All right, sir. I have your patient information here. I just need to go through and make sure it's correct, okay? No, I don't have time for this. I'm feeling sick. All right. According to the chart, we have that your name is Daddy. Yeah, sure, it's Daddy. And your date of birth is really, really old. Okay, I'm not that old. Well, you are getting older, Mario. <sighs> and we also have that your weight is fat. I'm not fat. You could go on a diet. <sighs> and we also have that your height is short. <laughs> I, I'm not that short. Well, you're not the tallest person either, Mario. <sighs> and then your temperature is hot AF. Well, I am burning up. I have a fever. All right. And your injury is bald. <laughs> That's not an injury. And, and I'm not bald. My hairline's just pushed back. <laughs> you're getting bald, Mario. No, it's my hairline. It's not that bad anymore. <sighs> and we also have that you have a rash on your pee pee and it burns when you pee. What? <gasps> Mario, what have you been doing? while I was away. Well, definitely not you. I mean, unless you can give yourself a hand burn. That's all, that's all I think I could have did. Well, I'm prescribing some soothing cream for your wiener, Daddy. I don't need it. I don't need any lotion. I don't need anything. I'm sick. I have the flu. <gasps> you have the flu, Daddy? I think we need to operate. What? No, we don't, we don't need to operate. I just need you guys to leave me alone so I can take a nap. <laughs> all right, Daddy. I need to check your vitals before we operate. Aww. Your little outfit. Jeffy, you look ridiculous. You look stupid. Mario. Daddy, mommy's right. You got your grumpy pants on. No, I don't have my grumpy pants on. I have my sick pants on. I don't want people to bother me. Well, I need to listen to your butt. Well, you're not going to listen to my butt. Mario, play along. He's being creative. He could be a doctor one day. He's not going to be a doctor one day because he's stupid. Mario. <laughs> oh, Jeffy, don't start crying. Look what you did, Mario. Isn't that just... <laughs> Well, he's, I, I just didn't think he was going to be a doctor one day and everyone needs to shut up. Oh, okay, fine. Fine, okay, you want to listen to my butt? Look, my butt's right here. Here's my butt. Listen to it. Stay up your ears. No, I don't want to listen to your butt no more, Daddy. It stinks. It doesn't stink. Here, look, 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 look,
Daddy. You got poop in your butt. I, don't I think we need to operate. I don't have poop in my butt. You don't need to operate on my butt. No, it, Daddy. We got to operate. I got to scrape it out. You're not Bend gonna, over. Give me a You're butt. not going to scrape it out, Daddy. <laughs> Look, no, no butt stuff. Look, I don't want medicine. I don't want operation. I don't need you to be a doctor. I don't need a doctor. I just want to lay down and rest. Yo, just stop bothering me. Oh, oh, Mario, Mario, I have an idea. What? My great grandmother had this old family recipe, and I know it'll make you feel better. Okay, well then go get it. Okay. <sighs> okay, here's a special cup I got for you. It has an M on it for Mario. Or monkey. And the secret recipe is a cup of warm water and a lemon. Or moose. What? A whole lemon? Yes, Mario. I'm supposed to drink that? Yes, Mario. How am I supposed to drink it? Yes, Mario. I would like to make a suggestion to put something in the cup in my most professional doctor opinion. No, Jeffy, it's fine. The recipe is fine. I would like to put my Band-Aid that's been on my leg for two weeks in the cup. Jeffy, no. Jeffy, yes. Boy, Jeffy, if you stick your Band-Aid in the drink, I'm not going to... Okay, now I'm not going to drink it because there's a Band-Aid in it. And I also want to put my Lucky Penny in there. No, if, no Jeffy. If you, okay, I'm definitely not drinking it because now there's a Band-Aid and a Penny in it. And I also want to put a blue thumbtack. Oh, no. Jeffy, no. Okay, doesn't matter the color. It's still it's a thumbtack. I'm not going to drink it. And a Nerf dart. Okay, that, that's stupid. Okay, I'm not. I'm definitely not drinking it. You know what? This is all stupid. I don't need... Hold on. What? Last but not least... I need to hock a loogie in it. Jeffy! No, 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 oh, don't, no, don't you dare spit in this drink. Stop it. You're not spitting in the drink, Jeffy. Oh, oh no, 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 stop. Okay, okay, you know what? I, no, no. Okay, you know what? You just spit in the drink, and there's so much stuff in there, I don't even know what it is, so I'm just not going to drink it. Mario, you're never going to get better. Yeah, with you two, I'm never going to get better. With you taking care of me, being a stupid, dumb doctor, and for you just buying me a bunch of random stuff, no crying. <laughs> Okay, look at the crying. Okay, okay, you know what? No, 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 no spill your heart. Jay, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! I wish I had the old doctor back. I wish I had the old doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Oh, thank God you're here, doctor. They won't stop screaming and crying in my ear, and I'm so sick. Yeah, I just wanted to come and apologize for how I was acting earlier. You know, I'm sick, and I got all these jobs, so I gotta be a doctor and a cop and a firefighter all while being sick, and there's no one there to take care of me. Then I gotta go home to my ugly wife so she can nag in my ear all day, and don't even get me started on her snoring. Oh, well, I'm sorry to hear about that, doctor, but I've been so sick. I keep coughing <laughs> and sneezing, and I have the worst headache ever. Well, honestly, I didn't have a headache until they started screaming in my ear. Well, maybe you shouldn't be so grumpy, Mario. Well, maybe you should cut some of the hair around your ears so you can hear me and understand that all I'm doing is trying to not be annoyed all day. All right, Daddy, it's time for your shot. Wait, who's this chump? I'm Dr. Jeffy. Oh, no, you're not. I'm the only doctor in this city, and this town ain't big enough for the two of us. Where'd you even get your degree? I did 15 years at Johns Hopkins. Oh, yeah? Well, I did six months at community college, so take that. Um... How are you even a doctor? And where have you been for the last year? Miss, I'm gonna move to Baltimore. I don't want to hear a word out of you. All right, guys, I'm sick. Can we, like, focus more on me? And you, take that doctor outfit off now. How about you save some jobs for the rest of us? Well, how about you make me? How about we throw hands? All right, doctor fight. <laughs> take my medical oh, excellence. Oh, stop, <laughs> settle down. Stop it right now. Stop it. Oh, oh my gosh. He drank his NyQuil. Yeah, he's out like a light. I wouldn't drink that. That's gross. Oh, we should probably let Mario get some sleep. Yeah, he'll probably feel better when he wakes up. But I don't want to see you here again. <sighs> oh, Mario, I'm so glad you're feeling better. Yeah, I'm sorry for being rude earlier. It's just I don't like being sick. And also, you were gone for a year, so I was annoyed at that. I know. I'm sorry, Mario. Well, I'm feeling a lot better now. Rawr! Since you're feeling better, Daddy, Mr. Shark's gonna eat your hat! Oh, no, 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 I hope he doesn't want to eat my hat. <laughs> Ooh, man, I love me some KFC chickens, folks. It's so good, it made me want to slap my mama. Hey, Black Yoshi, I'm about to watch TV. But Mario, I was about to play the Xbox. What? I was about to play the Xbox. The Xbox? Yeah. Well, you can play the Xbox later. I want to watch TV. Mario, you so green for that? Breaking news, okay? Popeyes has released a new chicken sandwich that's selling out all across America. And we have Brooklyn Tea Guy on the scene to tell us what all the fuss is about. 
Brooklyn? Hello, I'm standing outside Popeyes where people are going bok bok bagok for their new chicken sandwich. Now they're sold out right now, but I'm standing here with Jamal who was lucky enough to get one of those chicken sandwiches before it's sold out. Tell us Jamal, how is it? Oh, it good. Well, you heard it here first, folks. It good. Now, Jamal, I, I, I notice you don't have a shirt. Now, why is that? Oh, I can't afford a shirt. I spent all my money on chicken. Oh, well, uh, hey, hey, we rolling? We getting this? Uh, how about I give you my shirt off my back? Oh, really? Thanks, man. I deserve it, don't it? Yeah, 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 okay. Uh, just, just make sure you get this, okay? Oh, okay, Th thanks so much. Yeah, there you go, kid. Now, smile. All right, I just gave this poor little boy the shirt right off my back. What a nice thing for me to do, huh? Wow, thanks, mister. Yeah, back to you, Goodman. I, I look good, right? I look good? Yeah. Now give me back my shirt. Oh, what? Wow, people are really going crazy over a chicken sandwich. You see that, Black Yoshi? What? Black Yoshi? Breaking news! Mario, please give me the new Poopish chicken sandwich! Please! What? Black Yoshi, get off the TV! But Mario, I really want the Poopish chicken sandwich! What? Poopish? Yeah! You mean Popeyes? Yeah, Popeyes! The chicken sandwich! Well, Black Yoshi, you're not gonna get Popeyes. You already have KFC. But Mario, this KFC old and stale, and it been sitting out. It's only been sitting out for two minutes. But Mario, I still don't want this. I want the poo poo! What? Yeah, the poo poo sandwich! Okay, if you want a poo poo sandwich, go to the bathroom. Mario, you know what I be talking about. You know I want the poop. But Black Yoshi, you're not even trying now. It's called Popeyes, and you're not getting it because you already have KFC. But Mario, I just really, 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 really be wanting the poop pies. Black Yoshi, did you, did you hear the news? They're all sold out of sandwiches. They don't have any. Well, maybe they got some in the back. Okay, well then, how about you go there and see if they have any in the back? All right, Mario, but real quick, you got five dollars? No, I don't got five dollars. Mario, I know you be having a five dollars. <sighs> okay, Black Yoshi, fine, look. Here, take the five dollars, and, and if they have a chicken sandwich, just buy it. <laughs> Ma, you better than Abraham Lincoln Law, Hey, <laughs> chicken sandwich. Oh, that chicken from Popeyes. What you want, baby? Oh, uh, yeah, can I get that poo poo chicken sandwich? Honey, we all out. Well, do you guys got any in the back? No, nah, baby, there's nothing in the back. <sighs> all right, then. Hey, daddy, can I go swim in the toilet? Did you do your chores? No. Then what's the answer? Um, A. No, D. Jeffy, it's not multiple choice. Oh. The answer is no. You cannot go swim in the toilet until you do your chores. Well, this is stupid, Daddy. I don't want to do my chores. Well, Jeffy, go do your chores, and then you can go have fun. <sighs> Fine, Daddy. <sighs> Daddy! Daddy, the vacuum's not sucking! So it's definitely not your mom! Oh! 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 Jeffy, what are you talking about? Oh! Jeffy, the vacuum cleaner's not even plugged in. Your mom's not even plugged in. Oh! Oh! All right, Jeffy, now you're grounded after you do your chores. Well, Daddy, you want to know what I think about your vacuum cleaner? What? No, Jeffy, Jeff, Jeffy, you better not drop that vacuum cleaner. Oh, for shit, Daddy. Man, I can't believe Popeyes ain't have the chicken sandwich. Hey, you hit Black Yoshi on the head! Whoops. Uh, Alright, Doctor, what's going on? Well, he's in a coma because he took a vacuum cleaner to the dome. I'm talking... Well, is he going to be okay? I don't know. What do you mean, uh? I mean, I don't know. He could be in a coma for days or even years. Years? Yeah. Well, well there's nothing you can do? Well, I got him on a chicken IV drip, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. But it's what he would have wanted. So there's nothing else you can do? Well, some people think that people in a coma can still hear us, so maybe we should just try telling them to wake up. Hey! Hey, you wake up! Wakey wakey! Wake up! Yeah, he's not waking up. Oh, okay, so, so that, that's it? You're not gonna do anything else? Well, if you brought him something he really, really wanted, that might bring him out of the coma. What, bring him something he really wanted? Yeah, like, what does he really, really want? I mean, he wanted a Popeye's chicken sandwich, but I don't see how that would help. Wait, wait look! Look, his heart rate sped up when you mentioned Popeye's chicken sandwiches! Wait, that's his heart rate? Yeah, yeah, he must really want a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Okay, well, I mean, they're sold out. How am I gonna get him one? Well, you better go find one. <sighs> okay, Black Yoshi, I'll, I'll try to find one. Okay, I got him one. What is this? It's a Popeye's chicken sandwich. No, it's not. Okay, look, it's a KFC chicken sandwich, but he can't tell the difference. Oh my god, he's flatlining! Wait, what? You get this garbage chicken sandwich out of here! Well, what am I supposed to do? Get Popeye's! What are you trying to kill the man? Well, wait, it's just KFC, he likes KFC! No, you go get Popeye's! He needs Popeye's! It's sold out! <laughs> okay. Go, go get it! Oh, don't you die on me! Come here! Oh man, where am I gonna get a Popeye's chicken sandwich from? Oh, Donkey! That Popeye's chicken sandwich was so good! 
Oh. Shrek, where'd you get on eating? A Popeye's chicken sandwich donkey. Where'd you get it from? I got it from Popeye's, and I waited in line all day, and I really had the crap donkey, but it was worth it because the sandwich was so good. Oh, well, well, Shrek, I ate a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Well, donkey, if you wait about 30 minutes, there'll be one floating in the toilet for you. That's, that's gross, Shrek. Why would I do that? Oh, donkey, hold up. You might not have to wait. Get all out of that, Donkey. That's what a spicy Popeye's chicken sandwich smells like. That's gross, Shrek. Oh, Donkey. It's crusting away right in my pants, Donkey. Oh, and it's kind of creamy, too. Oh, Whatever, mm. Shrek. Oh. Hey, you get the Popeye sandwich? No, all the Popeyes are sold out, and I can't find anybody who has one. No, well, it looks like your friend's just going to have to stay in a coma. No, I'm going to get him out of this coma. Well, why do you need him out of the coma so bad? Because I feel like it's my fault he's in a coma, because Jeffy hit him in the head with a vacuum. Okay, well, it really sounds like it's Jeffy's fault. No, 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 no. If I didn't tell Jeffy to do his chores, he wouldn't have thrown the vacuum. Okay, that well, sounds like a bit of a stretch, but I'm not going to tell you how to feel. Look, do you know anywhere I can get a Popeye's chicken sandwich tonight? Well, all the Popeyes are closed. It's late. You just have to wait till tomorrow. I'm not going to do this tomorrow. I'm going to do it tonight. What? Are you busy tomorrow? Uh, is your tomorrow so busy you don't have time to go to Popeyes? Well, no, I just want to get this done tonight because I just I just can't stop thinking about it. Look, 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 look. There has to be a way to get a Popeye's chicken sandwich tonight. Like, eBay. What, eBay? Yeah, I can buy one on eBay and get it shipped here. You're going to buy an eBay chicken sandwich? Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me get my laptop. All right, let's find us a chicken sandwich. Oh, look, there's one. $5,000 for a chicken sandwich? Well, well, this one's spicy. Oh, okay, that's why it's so expensive. Oh, it takes a week to get here? A week? What, are they going to mail you an envelope with a chicken sandwich in it? And it takes a week to get here? It's going to be all moldy by the time it arrives. Oh, I really need this. Uh, can I borrow $5,000? Oh, yeah, sure. Let me go get my wallet. No, obviously not. Well, but it's going to save his life. Look, I really don't care that much. Look, I really need a Popeye's chicken sandwich. <sighs> okay, look, I, I know a guy who's good at getting things things that aren't gettable. What? Yeah, just just go outside and stand under a street lamp. Which 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 one? It, it doesn't matter. He'll find you. Okay. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Uh, uh, bring five dollars. Five dollars? Yeah. All right. Uh, actually, actually, bring a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars? Yeah, he, he needs a hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Where's this guy at? What? Hey, you get the hundred dollars? Uh, yeah. Sucker! Hey! 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 Hey, you. Yeah, you. Come here. Uh, who are you? I heard you were looking for a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yeah, I'm looking for a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Do you have one? Shh, be quiet. People are listening. Uh, oh, do you have one? All right. I know where you can get a Popeye's chicken sandwich, but it won't be easy. Well, how are you going to get me a Popeye's chicken sandwich? It's midnight. All the Popeye's are closed. Well, I saw a guy buy one earlier, and I followed him home. And I know he hasn't eaten it yet. He's keeping it in his microwave. Uh, uh, all right, how would we get it? All right, we're going to break into his house, and we're going to steal that sandwich so you can give it to your friend. Uh, break into his house? That's illegal! Well, we're doing it. Well, okay, well, what do you want out of it? Uh, $100. $100? I just gave the other guy $100 for no reason. Yeah, I saw that. You got biffed. Okay, fine. I'll give you $100 after we get the sandwich. All right, deal. But we should probably get walking. It's a pretty long walk. Well, I have a car. We can just drive. No, no. It draws too much attention. We gotta walk. Come on. <sighs> all right, this is the house. Oh, man, that was a long walk. Yeah, we're gonna have to walk all the way back, too. Okay, so what's the plan? All right, we're gonna go up to the door, and we're gonna knock on it, and then when he answers, we're gonna ask him really, really nicely for the chicken sandwich. He's not gonna give it to us. Well, you never know till we try. <sighs> okay, fine. Let's ask. Oh, man, I sure hope this works. I'm really nervous. Dang, who is that at the door? I don't even know it's midnight. Hello? Uh, uh, hello there, my chocolate friend. My chocolate friend. I'm sorry, I, I, I was nervous and I just, I, I choked. <sighs> yeah, obviously. Okay, let's try this again. Look, what do y'all want? Are y'all gingerbread witnesses? Look, I don't want any cookies, okay? No, 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 no sir. I, I, I'm sorry about my friend here. He he doesn't get out much. Oh, I can see. Uh, look, we know you have a Popeye's chicken sandwich in your microwave, and we want it. How do you know I got a chicken sandwich in my microwave? You went for the government? Uh, no, 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 we, homie, dog, ho home slice of pie. Stop. What? Just stop. No, don't. Well, we, uh, we cool? No, this is embarrassing. Uh, oh, okay, look, can, can, can we just please have the chicken sandwich? No, I'm not giving you my chicken sandwich. I waited in that Popeye's line for three hours. So you think I'm just going to hand my chicken sandwich up to some entitled white man? No, no way. So have a good day, sir. Uh, 
my slice of pie. Oh, look, 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 I was nervous. Look, look, what are we gonna do? I need that chicken sandwich. All right, I, I'm gonna call my friend Chester the chicken. Wait, Chester the chicken? All right, Mario, this is my friend Chester the chicken. Hello, I am Chester Chicken. How may I be of assist? Well, hello, Mr. Chester dog homie no, friend. No, no, stop. Let me do the talking this time. Uh, sorry, Chester, I hope he didn't bother you. Oh, no problem. I was just at home chucking myself. <laughs> you get it? <laughs> hey, chuck chicken? <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I get it, I get it. Uh, look, Chester, we need your help stealing a chicken sandwich. Oh, you call on Chester Chicken to steal crispy body of one of my own kind? You spit on me like pee, 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 pee. <sighs> Yeah, look, uh, Chester, can you help us or not? Uh, what's in it for Chester Chicken? Um, I'll give you 50 bucks. Hmm, 50 bucks for Chester Chicken? Yeah. Hmm, you got yourself a deal. Okay, uh, I need you to distract the owner of the house while we steal the sandwich. All right, seems simple enough. I do it. Bagak, bagak. Is that a chicken? Oh my god, it's a chicken at my door. I'ma cook it and eat it. Come here, chicken, come out! Alright, he left the door open. Let's go inside and get that sandwich. There it is, in all its glory. Alright, grab it and let's go. Alright. Alright, I got one. I got a Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yeah, now that's a chicken sandwich. How'd you get it? I had to break into a guy's house to get it. Oh, well, I'm actually a cop, so I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. Well, let's see if it wakes Black Yoshi up. Black Yoshi, look what I got, a Popeye's chicken sandwich. <laughs> Ooh, is that a poopy chicken sandwich? Oh, it is! Oh, this is so good! Oh, it smells so good, Mario! Wow, that coma went away really quick. Yeah, Black Yoshi, that coma went away a little too quick. I know! The poo poo done killed my coma! Are you sure you weren't faking your coma, Black Yoshi? No, Mario! My hair was hurting really, really so bad, and then the chicken sandwich just saved me! I'm gonna go eat my chicken sandwich! Mm. <sighs> well, thanks for nothing, Doctor. No. Ooh, boom, man, I love playing my Call of Duty. All right, Black Yoshi, get off the TV. I want to play my Switch. Oh, okay. I see what's going on here. You think you can come in here and tell me what to do? Well, let me tell you something. My boy, Maple Ham Lincoln Navigator, in the 1800s, signed the answer my pants pronunciation, so that means I ain't got to listen to you. The Emancipation Proclamation? Yeah, don't you spit balls at me. You can't rap. Black Yoshi, I'm not rapping. You said it wrong. And you've been playing the PlayStation all day. I just want to play the Switch. Well, I'm offended. Of course you are. Black Yoshi, there's somebody at the door. Do you want to answer that? Oh, okay. You still think you can tell me what to do. Well, let me tell you something, folks. My man, Martin Rufus King, had a dream. And that dream was for me to keep playing my game. <sighs> okay, fine. I'll answer it, Black Yoshi. Oh, and I bet you still mad about the Little Mermaid, too. What? Yeah, you think we can't swim. Well, let me tell you something, folks. We take it all the Disney prefences. See, we got uh, Pocahontrina, okay? We got uh, Mulan Tina, and then Frozen Tina. And then we take it, look quicker and stitch. Mm hmm. To see, there you go. Uh, hello? Hello? I guess there's nobody here. Google Gaga! What? 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 A baby? <laughs> well, it looks just like Black Yoshi! <laughs> I can't take care of him no more. Oh, Black Yoshi! <laughs> Black Yoshi, what is this? Uh, a mistake? Black Yoshi, you didn't tell me you had a kid. That's not my kid, folks. Black Yoshi, yes, that is your kid. It looks just like you. How? It, it has the... I want to hear you say it. It has the same... Mm-hmm. The same eyes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Black Yoshi, and also there was a note left with it. It says, I can't take cares of him no more. Signed, Boo Kiki. Man, that was Boo Kiki. What? Man, I told her not to be calls me no more. So it is your kid. Man, that is not my kid, folks. I can't have the kid because I had that insect on me and then I flicked it off and so I couldn't have kids after that. What? Insect on me? Yeah, it was what? a bug. You mean vasectomy? Mario, you know I ain't know my planets. Black Yoshi, you have to take care of your kid. It's your kid, so you have to take care of it. You understand that? <sighs> Fine, folk. I guess I'll take care of it. Come on, <laughs> let me take care of it. <laughs> Black Yoshi! I took care of him. What? Black Yoshi, you could have killed him. Good, you want me to do it again? This time I go to the roofs. Black Yoshi, you have a kid, an actual kid. You should love him. I don't care, folks. I probably got me a thousand other kids out there running around. A thousand? Yeah, because I'm allergic to latex. Black Yoshi, you don't want to love your...
your kid and care for him? No, because I don't want to pay no child support. Okay, well, if you don't want to take care of him, then put him up for adoption. Why can't I just drop him off at a fire station? You can't do that, Black Yoshi. I'm hungry. What, what, hungry? Black Yoshi, he talks. Oh, he can talk. Oh, go to the fire station. I'll call you an Uber. Hey, Mario, call him an Uber. You can't take an Uber. He's a baby, Black Yoshi. Well, I don't want some. Black Yoshi, I'm going to go downstairs and get him something to eat. Look, talk to your son. Maybe you might love him. Maybe you should go to the fire stations. Mm. All right, that should be enough milk to feed him. All right, let me just throw this away. What? Black Yoshi! Black Yoshi, why was your son in the trash? Uh, because that's where he belongs. Black Yoshi, he's your son. You're supposed to love and care for him. Well, I don't. I don't like him. I don't want him. He ugly. He don't even look like me. All I want to do is play the game. So you don't want to take care of him? No. Okay, fine, Black Yoshi. You don't have to. All right, good. Well, maybe this will change your mind, though. Look what just came in the mail. <gasps> My welfare check? We just got some welfare. We just got some welfare. We just got some welfare. How much is this check? Ooh, let me open it up see how much I got. $1,500? That's $500 more than I got last month. Well, Black Yoshi, the reason why they give you more money is because they know you have a kid. And when the government knows you have a kid and you can't afford it, they give you more money to take care of him. So what would happen if I had two kids? They'd give you more money. What about three kids? They'd give you more money. What about four kids? Black Yoshi, that doesn't matter. Look, they give you money to take care of your kid. So now you have the money to take care of your, your son. And you, that's what you should do. That money right there, you should use it to spend on your son and take care of him and love him because he's your son, your one and only son that you know of. And you should take care of him and love him and treat him with love and respect. Well, what about five kids? Black Yoshi, no. You only have one kid. Use that money right there to spend on your kid and take care of him. Be a good father. <laughs> Ooh, okay. I'm going to go catch this shit. <laughs> Uh, let me check on Black Yoshi and his son. Ah! Mario, I got some family. Black Yoshi, where did all these kids come from? Well, Mario, I went down to the adoption center at the park, and I got me some babies. Black Yoshi, you cannot keep all these kids. Well, Benjamin Freckle says otherwise. Man, Black Yoshi need to keep all these kids so he can keep getting that cash. Black Yoshi, where did you get all that money? The gum milks. What? Yeah, the gum milks be paying me $25,000 a month to take $25,000 a month? Yeah, you need to go get you some kids. No, Black Yoshi, because it's wrong and that's fraud. No, it's not. It's an investment, folks. How is it an investment? Well, you see, these kids are going to grow up one day, then they're going to get jobs, and then they're going to take care of me. Like, for example, she's going to be in the WNBA. Now, granted, she ain't going to make that much, but that's okay, because Big Boy over here is going to be in the NFL. He's going to be the whole NFL, every team. And when he get mad, he's just going to eat all the players. Uh, uh, Black Yoshi, why does he look so mean? Because he is mean, folks. That's Big Boy. Big Boy? No, Big Boy. You gotta say it with me, folks. Big Boy. Big Boy? No, a little bit more. Big Boy. Big Boy. There you go, Zal. Say hi to him. Hi, Big Boy. Mm. Yeah, what? see, there you go. And one of these white kids over here gonna be President Nips. President? Yeah, that's what I said. And then, uh, a couple of these kids over here, they, 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 they gonna work at McDonald's, but that's okay, though, because it's still incomes. Well, Black Yoshi, still, get rid of them. For I can't because I got two attached to them. I already started naming them. You did not start naming all these kids. Yes, I did, For Like, here go, here go Quika right here. Quika? Yeah, and then King Kong Keisha, and then we got Fried Chicken Nisha, and then, oh, Coolandria. That's one of my favorites. And then over here, we got Salt and Pepper, and then we got Stone Cold Steve Ashley, and then right under her, this one right here, that's Parmanji Nika. And then over here, we got Salad Dressing Tongsra, and then Croutandra. Oh, and then this one right here, this is another one of my favorites. It's Shatana Nana 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 Batman. And then here go Moof. Moof? Yeah, Moof, like Moof out the way. Why would you name your daughter Moof? Well, I was sitting here naming them, and then she was in the way, I said Moof, out the way. And so her name, her name Moof. What about that one? Oh, there goes Skaggs. Skaggs? Yeah. Is he even alive? Man, I don't even know. He better be alive, though, because if not, he gonna cost me $1,000 a month. Man, R.I.P. Skaggs. Black Yoshi, get rid of all these kids! Oh, I can't! Damn it! Breaking news, you guy. 24 babies have gone missing at a local park. More on this story as it develops. What? Black Yoshi, you kidnapped all these kids? Uh, 
more like borrow. Black Yoshi, not only did you fraud the government, you kidnapped 25 kids. 24, because this one's mine. What's Big what? Stop it. Big boy, you better put your sister down. Don't you be treating Burger King with like that. <laughs> well, there goes Burger King. -wa. Yeah, she was gonna own a Whopper one day. Black Yoshi, you're gonna go to jail. No, I'm not. Now they ain't know who be duns did it. Well, they're sure gonna find out who be done did it. Why? Because you gonna snitch? No, Black Yoshi, but when all these kids grow up, they're gonna wanna know who their real father is. And they ain't looking at them. I care about all these kids. Black Yoshi, how are you gonna feed all these kids? Oh, I got that covered right here. Bam. You cannot put fried chicken in a bottle and expect them to eat it. Yes, I can. Here you go, big boy. <laughs> Black Yoshi, this is not gonna work out. This is insane. <laughs> Uh, who's at the door? <gasps> Mario, if that's the popo, you gotta say no, no. And also, you gotta give me a signal like, ooh, the big bad wolf is here. <laughs> okay, fine, Black Yoshi, if that's the cops, you better be ready to hide these kids. All right, folks. <laughs> uh, hello? Uh, the big bad wolf is here. Okay. What? what, what? Right, that's a little suspicious. What, what's suspicious, officer? Well, when you answered the door, you went, oh, and then you turned around and yelled what sounded like a code to somebody who's upstairs who I can only assume was probably a fugitive. Oh, oh no, no, you, you, you're just overthinking it. I'm just playing a game with my kid. Like, the big bad wolf is here, you know, like that. Really? Because in that story, the big bad wolf is the bad guy, and the three little pigs are hiding inside a house when the big bad wolf shows up. So you can see how that's a little weird to me. Yeah, but you're just overthinking it, you know, just, you must have a long day. Yeah, I don't think I'm overthinking it, you know, because earlier today, 24 kids were kidnapped from a park. Whoa, that's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. That's a lot of kids to just all go missing at once. Just one swoop, 24 kids just, just gone. Yeah, yeah, what, what, what would make you think they're at, at my house? Well, because every time I come here, something bad is always happening, and I've literally never been wrong. Well, well I, but this time you are, because there's not, there's not 24 kids in my house. Right, okay, well, I'm going to come in and search anyway way because I got probable cause. Uh, uh, okay, uh, just give me one. Uh, uh, the big bad wolf is coming in. Yes, he is. And I'm going to huff and puff and take somebody to prison. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, see? Uh, nothing to see here. Huh. I don't know. Just Something feels kind of off about this couch. Oh, I, 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 I just got it washed. That, that's what it was. No, no, it's definitely not that. It kind of stinks, actually. It smells like a like a dirty diaper or something. Oh, that, that's me. That, that's me. I smell like a dirty diaper. I, I wear adult diapers now. I'm at the I'm at the age where I can't hold it. I yeah. I I sorry. Ew. What? Wait, 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 wait. wait. I, I hear something. It's like a like a muffled muffled crying or something. Oh, oh that uh, that's my stomach. I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten all day. What would you eat for dinner? Uh, I, I actually haven't had dinner yet. I, I had a burger for lunch, but that, that was a while ago. Okay, well, do you want a microwavable macaroni and cheese cup? It, yeah, you know what? I, I think I will take a microwavable macaroni and cheese cup. It sounds pretty good. Okay, then let's go to the kitchen wait, wait, and... Wait, 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 wait. Is that a baby? Uh, that's, that's Skaggs. Skaggs? Yeah, that's my nephew Skaggs. Uh, his parents left him here. I gotta watch him for a while. Hey, Skaggs. He's sleeping. Oh, yeah, okay. I can see that. Yeah, so uh, don't don't bother Skaggs. Let, let's just go to the kitchen. And get, yeah, let's go to, go to the kitchen. Okay. All right, are you ready for your macaroni and cheese cup? I want to pour the cheese. All right, let me open up the microwave. <laughs> you can't eat it. What? Why? Because uh, my, 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 uh, my, my, my microwave is broken. Well, I mean, I could probably fix it. Oh, no, 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 I, 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 I pooped in it, and I wanted to see what would happen if you microwave poop, and that's what I did to it. What, why would you do that? I want to see what color it turned into. It broke. The microwave when I put the poop that. Oh. Well, yeah, yeah, so you can't eat that. What, I, no macaroni and cheese cup? No, you can't, sorry. <sighs> this is dumb. Yeah, so uh, let's just go go let's go outside, right? <sighs> go, go outside or upstairs. I cannot believe you would offer a man a microwavable macaroni and cheese cup and then not give it to him. Unbelievable. I forgot my microwave was broken. Look, are you done searching everywhere? Are you satisfied? <sighs> yeah, I guess. I thought for sure the babies would be here, though. <sighs> I gotta think about this. Ow, what is that poking into my head? What is that a baby's leg? What? what is, is this a baby? There's a baby in your couch. What? How did, how did that get here? What? Wait a minute. What? This whole couch is full of babies. What? what? Where? Oh, you're under arrest, Mario. No, no, this is not me. This is Black Yoshi. Black Yoshi found out that the more kids he had, the government would give him more money for assistance. Okay. All right. So that's fraud and kidnapping. He's going to prison. Yeah. Black Yoshi, get out here. What's up, Bo? Uh, they, they found out what you did. Oh, all right, man, time to go to plan B. All right, how much money you want? What? You can't bribe a police officer. How about, uh, about 
thousand dollars. No, no, I, I'm just going to confiscate all that money anyway when I arrest you. Yeah, Blackers, you have to go to jail. You committed a huge crime. <sighs> Man, I don't want to go to jail. Well, Black Yoshi, you have to go to jail because you kidnapped, you fraud, and you just tried to bribe them, so that's another charge. Yeah, all right. Let me just collect all these babies so I can return them to their parents, and then I'm going to arrest you. I guess, we'll, I guess we'll start with this one. Oh, oh, that's fried chicken Nisha. Please don't take her. Yeah, fried chicken Nisha. This one. Man, there go Moof. Moof? Yeah, like Moof out the way. Okay. Let's get this one. Oh, there goes Stone Cold Steve Ashley. Yeah, let's get her out of there. Oh, this Shatana na 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 Batman. All right, I think this is the last baby. Bye, rock, paper, Sazina. And then after this, Black Yoshi, you're going to jail. Okay. Oh, Black Yoshi, look what you did. You're going to jail, but you won't even be able to take care of your son. Wait, son? Yeah, Black Yoshi has a real son right there. But he has a real son? Yeah. Well, I can't take a father to jail. W what? Well, it's just not fair that all these babies get parents and, and that one doesn't. W what are you saying? Well, I'm saying uh, I can't take Black Yoshi to jail. What? I'm not going to take him to jail. I'll return all these babies, but I'm not sending him to jail. W what about the money? Oh, I'm definitely taking the money. He can't keep that. Black Yoshi, the next 18 years you get to take care of your son because his officer's gonna let you go. Uh, Mr. Police Officer Man, can I go to jail? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Yo, Mario, if I roll a 10 with these dice, you gotta pay me $100, okay? What? No. Pay up. What? No, Black Yoshi, I didn't agree to pay you $100. But I rolled a 10. Yeah, but I don't. I didn't agree to pay you $100. What do you need $100 for anyway? Because I'm so hungry. I need some chicken. You don't need $100 for chicken, Black Yoshi. Well, I need it for the whole week. Black Yoshi, why don't you go get a job or something? Mario, you know I can't work because of my disabilities. What kind of disabilities do you have? Man, it's the white man trying to bring a brother down. That's not a disability, Black Yoshi. Look, how about you go dig in the garbage can for chicken or something? Ugh, I don't want to dig in the garbage. What am I, homeless? Uh, here I go. Can it be homeless and dig in the garbage for some chicken? <sighs> Ugh, I can't believe Mario's gonna make me dig through the trash looking for chicken like I'm some kind of homeless man. Is there any chicken in here? <laughs> no. Oh, what about in his bag? Oh, that smells like booty. But you know your boy eat that too. <laughs> This? Oh, leftover chicken? It must be my lucky day. You know your boy gonna be eating good tonight. <laughs> Got that chicken, boy. <laughs> Mario, look who found some chicken since you wanna be all cheap. Ew, Black Yoshi, where'd you find this chicken at? Next to the trash can. Ew, it's all green and gross. Yeah, it's my leprechaun chicken. It's lucky. Black Yoshi, it's not leprechaun chicken. It's not lucky. It's green because it's all moldy and gross. You can't eat this. You're gonna get sick. All right, what are you gonna give me $100 to buy a new chicken? No. All right, what did I'm gonna eat this? Oh, Black Yoshi, I, I can't watch you eat this. I'm gonna get sick if I see you eat that. Well, Mar, you just don't want me to be happy and have my chicken. So I'm gonna eat this right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was some good chicken. It tastes kind of weird, though, but that's all right. Ew, Black Yoshi, you actually ate that chicken? Yeah, man, because you wouldn't buy me anything else. Black Yoshi, you're gonna get sick. Mario, I'm not gonna get sick. Oh, Mario, I don't feel so good. Exactly, Black Yoshi, because you ate moldy chicken. Oh, I think I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> Black Yoshi? Black Yoshi? Black Yoshi, stop playing. I know you're just playing around. Black Yoshi? Black Yoshi! It's about money, right? You just want money. Look, look here's that $100 you wanted. Just get up. Black Yoshi? He's not taking the money. He must be really be sick. I have to call a doctor. I have to call a doctor. Hey there, somebody call a doctor? Yes, I did, doctor. I need your help. My friend ate this moldy green chicken that he found by the garbage can, and then he started feeling really sick and saying he was going to throw up, and then he passed out, and now he's not waking up. So do you know what to do? Uh, what? What, 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 what were you saying? I, what? Did you, did you see a $100 bill that was on the couch? <laughs> I, I, I wish I saw $100 on your couch. No. Anyway. My friend ate this moldy green chicken that he found in the garbage can, and now he's feeling really sick. Yeah, he probably shouldn't have eaten that moldy green chicken. Yeah, so look, now he's not waking up, so like, can you like check for his pulse? B to check for his pulse? Me? Uh, uh yeah. G yeah, sure, I, I, I can do that. But, oh, ow, ow, he's, he's really hot, I burned my hand. What? Yeah. He's not hot. Okay, fine, you got me. I don't know how to check for a pulse, and I was just making up an excuse. Well, okay, I'll check for it. 
He doesn't have a pulse. Wait, how did you do that? Show me so I can do it next time. Well, no, no, he doesn't have a pulse. He's not alive. Do, do CPR. CPR? Uh, uh, okay, yeah, sure. He, he's just so hot, though. You don't know how to do CPR, do you? I do not. Oh, my God. Do you know how to do anything? I mean, I'm here, aren't I? <sighs> I just... <sighs> Black Yoshi, he's waking up. Oh, good, good. My work here is done. I saved him. What? what? Black Yoshi, are you okay? Mario, I just didn't feel so good. Oh, oh okay, okay, look, Black Yoshi, this is what we're gonna do. You ate some really bad chicken, so let's go buy you some new chicken. Let's make some homemade chicken, okay? Let's make you feel good, okay? Hi, Mario. Let's go. All right, Black Yoshi, we're gonna make you some homemade chicken to make you feel better. But Mario, I feel so sick. I need the chicken right now. Well, Black Yoshi, it's gonna take about 30 minutes to cook, so unless you know a faster way to cook it, we have to wait. But I want it right now. <laughs> Black Yoshi, how'd you just do that? I don't know, fool. Well, you had like lasers coming out of your eyes. Ooh. Black Yoshi, oh, there's, there's something wrong with you. We have to call a doctor. Hey there, you call a doctor again? Yes, I did. See, my friend ate that green chicken. He started acting really weird. And then he shot lasers out of his eyes. And then he cooked the chicken. And... Are you looking for something? Did you stop putting money here on your couch? What? What do you want? Oh, okay, look, my friend, you know, he ate that weird green chicken stuff, and then he cooked this chicken with his eyes. Well, I told you he was hot. Well, no, 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 he shot lasers out of his eyes. Okay, I want some of whatever you're on. Well, no, 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 he, he really did. Black Yoshi, show him the lasers out of your eyes. All right. Whoa! Wow! Okay, that's awesome! Yeah, 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 he can shoot lasers out of his eyes, so, so how do you fix that? Fix it? Pfft, forget that! I'm gonna go eat out of the trash until I get superpowers, too! What? Oh, all right, Black Yoshi, I, I think you might have superpowers, so so you, you can shoot lasers out of your eyes. Maybe you have super speed. Okay, well, let me see that. I'm gonna go see if I can steal a PlayStation 4 from Best Buy. Whoa, Black Yoshi, it worked? Yeah, Mario, I ran super fast. They didn't even see me. I ran like I stole some. Whoa, Black Yoshi, that's so cool that you have super speed. Okay, well, now that you prove that you got powers, take the PlayStation back to the store. No! Well, Black Yoshi, you, you gotta use your powers for good, not evil. This ain't the Powder Puff Girls. But Black Yoshi, look, you've been gifted with amazing powers. You need to use them for good, not evil. Says the man who wouldn't give me money for food and told me to go eat out the trash. Oh, but, 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 Black Yoshi, look, look, let's turn on the news and see what good you could do for the world. Breaking news, okay? There's a purse snatcher going around snatching women's purses. But it's 2020, so he's snatching men's purses as well. Police are having a difficult time stopping him. So is there anyone out there that can help us stop this purse snatching menace? Oh look, Black you look, there's a purse snatcher. You can go stop him. What's a purse now for? Black Yoshi, it's a purse snatcher. There's a guy running around stealing women's purses. You can go stop him and be a hero. And why would I do that? Because it's the right thing to do, Black Yoshi. You have the powers to stop him, so go stop the purse snatcher. <sighs> Fine, folk. La 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 Give me purse! Ah, 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 he stole my purse! Ah, ah. Uh, uh, I did it! I stole another purse! Not if I ain't got nothing to say about it. Huh? Batman? What, what happened to my purse? Alright, Mario, I got the purse. Wait, you stole a purse? No, I took the purse from the purse snatcher. Okay, good. Now go give the purse back to the woman it belongs to. No! But why not? Because there's money in here. Yeah, there's money in there, but it belongs to the woman. Yeah, but finders keepers. No, no finders keepers. The money belongs to the woman. You need to use your powers for good. But Mario, she ain't gonna get the purse back neither way. Well, but Black Yoshi, look, go give the purse back to the woman. No! <laughs> Breaking news, okay? Someone has snatched a purse from the purse snatcher. So now we have a purse snatcher snatcher. And I have an exclusive interview with the purse snatcher. Goodman? <laughs> Thanks, Goodman. I'm here with the purse snatcher, who got the purse that he snatched snatched. So tell me, purse snatcher, what happened? Well, I snatched woman's purse, like I do, and then Batman came and snatched purse from me. I purse snatcher, he Batman, why he snatched purse? Get different job, stay in lane. Wow. Well, you heard it here first, folks. Batman is the purse snatcher snatcher. Look, Black Yoshi, they think you're Batman. They think you stole that purse. Well, they should call me Black Man, because I'm stealing all the purses. <laughs> Black Yoshi, where'd all these purses come from? I stole them. Well, give them back. I will, once I'm done getting all the money out of them. No, Black Yoshi, you're supposed to use your powers for good, not evil. Well, I gotta pay the bills. What bills do you have to pay? I gotta buy me some KFC, and I gotta buy me some Kool-Aid. Black Yoshi, those are not bills. Look, put all this money back in the purse and give them back. But Mario, I don't want to give them back. I'll give them back once the money's gone. Black Yoshi, they're gonna catch you. Mario, they ain't not gonna catch me because I be running so fast. <laughs> 
Oh, 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 hold on, Black Ocean. Let me see who that is. Uh, hello? Hey there. I'm off doctor duty and I'm on cop duty now. Why are you here as a cop? Well, it seems like your friend Black Yoshi stole a bunch of stuff. What, what, what's he been stealing? Purses? What? I mean, I mean, what's he been stealing? Well, he stole a PlayStation 4 from Best Buy. Well, he didn't steal a PlayStation 4 from Best Buy. Well, I'm gonna come in so I can show you that he did. What? So what I wanted to show you is that we have surveillance footage of Black Yoshi stealing the PlayStation 4. And there's the PlayStation he stole right there, so I don't even have to show you the footage. Well, he didn't steal this PlayStation 4. We've had this one for a long time. We we just leave it on the couch because we like to look at it. And you don't have footage of him stealing it because he runs really fast. I have the footage right here. We had to slow it way down so we could see him, but he's there. Just take a look. He was running really fast, like the speed of light. So we had to slow the footage down like a thousand times. And you can see him right... There. You see him? He's running away with the PlayStation 4 without paying for it. Oh, come on. That doesn't prove he stole it. He could have bought it. Where's the receipt, then? Uh, Black Yoshi, where's the receipt for the PlayStation 4? I ain't got one because I stole it. And there you go. And now that I'm actually paying attention, I see a whole bunch of purses and him stealing the money out of those purses. Oh, uh, he didn't steal the purses. He, he saved the purses. He was going to return them. After he takes all the money out of them. Well, he has to charge a fee because superheroes have to eat. Okay, Black Yoshi's under arrest. Uh, you ain't going to be catch me. You're right. You, you can't catch him. He, he runs too fast. You're not going to be able to catch him. Yeah, you're right. I'm going to have to come up with some kind of plan. Okay, I have an idea. Okay, are you going to say actual words or are you just going to go in my ear? Okay, fine. Okay. You're gonna tie his shoelaces together so that when he tries to run away, he trips. Okay, but how are we gonna tie his shoelaces together? Um, oh, hold on. Hey, Black Yoshi, your shoelaces are untied. No, they not. Yes, they are. No, they not. I thought I was a Jedi. Uh, hey, Black Yoshi, have you seen the cool new way kids are tying their shoes these days? No. It's really hip and gangster. Let me show you. Hi. All right, Black Yoshi, check that out. Oh, I guess they look kind of cool. All right, Black Yoshi, you're under arrest. You're never going to catch me. Ugh, uh, 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 uh. Man, why can't I move? <laughs> you can't run away now. We got you. Yeah, we got you, Black Yoshi. Uh, I can shoot lasers. Run! I forgot he can shoot lasers. What are we going to do? Uh, we need something to reflect the lasers back at him. What, what could do that? Uh, oh, I have an idea. Follow me. Oh, oh. Man, how you untie these? All right, Mario, stay behind me. Hey, Black Yoshi, you're under arrest. No, I'm not. Oh, get wrecked. Oh, uh, are you going to take him to jail now? Oh, no. I'm going to give him something much worse than jail. I'm going to give him a spanking. A spanking? You heard me. A spanking. Now get him ready. Uh, okay. Okay, he's ready. Bam. All right, just getting warmed up. Uh, well, why are you not taking him to jail? He's been to jail plenty of times. He never learns anything. All he needs is a good old-fashioned pop on the bottom. That'll teach him. Okay. All right, now show me that rump. Oh, yeah, it's good. Bam! Well, that was a good one. All right. All right. Bam! Okay, how, how many of these are you going to do? Um, well, how old is he? 25. Oof, we'll be here all day. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, okay, I'm stopping you. Let me at him. Give me that butt. Go, go. Give me his butt. Come on, let me smack him. Get out. Just let me smack him one more time. No! Oh! Mario, what happened, man? Why my head hurt? And why my butt hurt? Because, Black Yoshi, you got punished for stealing all this stuff. Oh, uh, well, I can't move, folks. Can you untie my shoes? I'll untie your shoes after I return all the stuff you stole. Mario, you better not return that stuff. That's my stuff. I'm going to shoot you with my lasers. Uh, 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 what happened to my lasers? You must have lost your powers, Black Yoshi, which is a good thing. So, look, I'll untie your shoes after I return the PlayStation and all the purses you stole. No, Mario, that's my stuff. Dinosaur chicken nuggies. Dinosaur chicken nuggies. Yeah, 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 all that. Dude, this is the perfect meal. I know. Who doesn't want nuggies and gogies? Wait, wait, dude. Where's Cody? I don't know. You think he's gonna pass up nuggie and gogie night? Dude, who's gonna pass up nuggies and gogies? What? That must be him at the door. Like you have to have no tongue to want to pass up this. Hello? Hey, Junior. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, thank God you're here, Cody. I thought you were gonna miss nuggies and gogies night. Junior, I would never miss nuggies and gogies night. My mom just wanted to come with me. But why'd you? your big, fat, overweight whale cow mom with you. Chevy didn't make enough nuggies to feed a whole village or feed a whole cruise ship. Yeah, but my mom wanted to come with me to make sure I was actually going to a friend's house and not meeting some stranger I met online. Are you feet lover 47? What, no. 
Hmm, you look like you might like feet. All right, Cody, I'm gonna come in anyway just to snoop around. Uh, Junior, is it okay if my mom comes in? Yeah, just make sure you hold her back from the food. I don't want her to eat all the nuggies. <sighs> All right, Cody, here's your dinosaur chicken nuggies. Oh, those look like some good chicken nuggies, Junior. Can I have a chicken nugget? No, you're like a shark. Once you taste blood, you're not going to be able to stop. So once you eat a chicken nugget, you're going to eat all the chicken nuggets. No. Oh, hey there, little fellow. What's your name? Uh, Joseph. Are you feet level 47? Dude, how did she find out my Fortnite username? Well, oh my god, Cody, it's him. We have to leave. But mom, what about nuggies and gogies? I don't know what kind of weird hip-hop slang that is, Cody, but we have to leave right now. Dude. Cody's mom is so weird. I know, she's really weird. Oh man, what's wrong with liking feet, man? Yeah, yeah, he's just weird. Wait, wait, Joseph, what? She left her ring. Dude, a ring? Oh, dude, you should totally put it on and act like a girl. Oh my god, that'd be so funny. I'm gonna do it. Dude, dude. All right, Joseph, I got the ring on my finger. Oh man, you look like a total girl, dude. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm a girl. <laughs> Your name could be Julia or something. Oh, I like Julia. That's a good girl name for me. Oh, uh, uh, Julia, tell me some girl things you do. Oh, uh, I like to wake up in the morning and pour me some milk for my cereal with my boobies. <laughs> How convenient. Yeah, I like to paint my fingernails. Oh, do you paint your toenails too? Yeah, especially my toenails. You gotta send me some pics, bro. <laughs> Oh, um, never mind. It's not like I like feet or anything. <laughs> oh, Joseph, you should come to the bathroom while I pee out my butt. <laughs> yeah, what else would they sit on the toilet for? Yeah, they, they, girls pee out their butt, right? Yeah, yeah, totally. Okay, well, yeah, come with me to the bathroom. <laughs> oh, I gotta see this. All right, Joseph, I'm about to pee out my butt like a girl. <laughs> do it, dude, do it, dude. <laughs> I can't seem to do it. I must be constipated. Oh, man. I should get a tampon to help you get it out. Uh, girls have such weird problems. I know. They're so weird. Thank God we're dudes. Yeah, hold on. Let me strain more. <laughs> what? Uh, Joseph, what? I, I dropped the ring down the toilet. Well, get it out, dude. Yeah, I'm not going to touch my hand in there. I poop in there. Well, but what if his mom comes back looking for it? Well... She, she must, she's not gonna look for it. She's so fat, she's probably like licking her fingers from looking at those chicken nuggets, and she might she might have actually thought that she ate her ring or something. Yeah, she's not gonna want it. Yeah, let's just flush it because that, that's gross. Yeah. <sighs> All right, Joseph, since Cody had to go home, I guess I need this more dinosaur chicken nuggies for us. Dude, I love dinosaur nuggies. I like to eat the feet part first. It tastes better to me. Hmm, maybe it's just me. What? My, my phone's ringing, hold on. Uh, hello? Uh, hey, Junior. Woman, what did you do with that ring? Uh, there's kind of a situation happening at my house. Where's it at? Where's it at? There's no reason for you to take it off. What's wrong, Cody? Uh, well, my mom lost her wedding ring, and my dad's real mad because he thinks she took it off so she could cheat on him. I know you're cheating on me. There's no reason for you to take it off. Look, I pay the bills in this house. I get to cheat whenever I want. I'm gonna come over and look for the ring. Uh, I'm not, I'm not, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think the ring's here, Cody, because I would have seen the ring if it was here. Well, I'm still gonna come over and look anyway. Oh, okay, okay, bye. Uh, Joseph, it's so bad. What's wrong, dude? Uh, Cody's coming over to look for his mom's ring. But you flushed it down the toilet. I know we flushed it down the toilet, but we have to lie to him and say that we've never seen it. No, dude, that's lying. I need you to lie for me, please, Joseph. <sighs> I guess I could do it for you this one time, but you owe me some serious feet pics. I'm talking individual toes, toenail polish and all, dude. Okay, 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 fine, whatever you want. Yes. I, I think that's Cody, I think that's Cody, just lie for me. Okay. Uh, hello? <sighs> Uh, Cody, just stop trying. We're not that flexible. I tried doing it to myself, too. Uh, no, no, Junior, I'm out of breath. I mean, like a mile to come here. Uh, hold on. Uh, Junior, we gotta find that ring really quick. My dad says if my mom doesn't find the ring in the next ten minutes, he's gonna divorce her. Well, oh, oh, no! Well, uh, I already I already looked around the whole house. I didn't see a ring. Uh, Junior, it has to be here. This is the only place we went today. I mean, I mean, maybe your mom ate it. No, no, Junior, she didn't eat it. I'm coming inside to look for it. Uh, where is it? Where is it? What you looking for, dude? Uh, my mom's ring. Oh, yeah, the one Junior flushed down the toilet. What? Uh, what? Uh, uh, Joseph! Uh, what? Uh, it sounds like you just said, I don't want feet pics really loud. Oh, what? what? Junior, did you flush my mom's ring down the toilet? No, no, no. I, I flushed a, a DVD copy of the movie The Ring. Yep, yep. Really? Yep, yep, yep. I swear to not flush your mom's ring down the toilet. You swear on Chef Pee-Pee's life? Uh, yeah, I swear on Chef Pee-Pee's life. Woo, finally done cleaning the kitchen. Oh man, the stove's still on. Gotta turn this off. Jesus Christ, Junior Chef Pee Pee just died. That means you did flush the ring. Okay, yes, I did flush your mom's ring. And I shouldn't swear on people's lives because then they die in explosions. Why would you flush my mom's ring, Junior? Okay, look, I put it on because I wanted to act like a girl and wear a ring. And then I went to go use the bathroom to pee out my butt like girls do. Obviously. And the ring fell off in the toilet and I flushed it because toilets are dirty and I didn't want to get the ring out. Well, how are we going to get it back now? Look, look there's got to be a way to get it. Maybe it's like still in the toilet, like it didn't go down. But you flushed it. 
All right, Cody, here's the toilet. Yes, that's a toilet. But maybe the ring's still down there. Put your hand down there. Well, I'm not putting my hand in the toilet. That's what I thought. That's why I flushed it. Junior, you flushed it, so it's gone forever now. Well, well maybe the ring is back here in this thing. No, that's not where things go when you flush them. Wait, wait, well, then what's back there? It's water. Well, there's water right there. Well, yeah, but there's water in there, too. Well, where's the water come from up there? Well, there's pipes that... Junior, I'm not teaching you how toilets work today. Well, why don't we just call a plumber and see if a plumber can get the ring out? No, Junior, I think the ring's just gone forever. I'm gonna go to Walmart and try to find a replacement ring. Well, they're not gonna have a replacement ring at Walmart. Your mom's not that cheap. All right, let's call a plumber. Hey there, you call a plumber? Uh, yes, Mr. Plumber, I called. Well, first off, I'm married. Why are you telling me that? Well, I don't know if you've seen those naughty videos online where, like, a hot girl will call a plumber and say that she wants him to unclog a pipes, you know? And then she tries to pay him some kind of other way. Oh, I love those videos! Yeah, well, I, I don't do that anymore. I, I, I get sued too many times. Like, th like, this one time, I went over to a girl's house, and she said she wanted me to unclog a pipes, and so I started taking my pants off, and then she, she actually meant she literally wanted me to unclog a pipe, so her husband beat me up and I got in a lot of trouble. Oh, well, no, 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 I actually need you to get something out of the toilet. Okay, great, so what do you need? Okay, so I accidentally flushed my best friend's uh, mom's wedding ring down the toilet, and if we don't get the ring back, they're gonna get a divorce. What, they're gonna get divorced just because she lost the ring? Yeah. I didn't know it was that easy to get divorced. I wanna get divorced a lot. Drop that in there. Wait, you just dropped your ring in the toilet. Yeah, I did. Flushing it. Wait, you flushed your ring down the toilet. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to call my wife and tell her I flushed our ring. Let's see if she divorces me. What? Okay, hold on. It's raining. It's raining. Hello, boy. Day, the love of my life. How's work going? Uh, not, not too good, actually. I'm doing a plumbing job and something went wrong. Oh, no, boy. Day, you didn't pull your pants down in front of another woman again, did you? No, 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 no. Not, nothing like that. But if I did, would you leave me? No, of course. It's not boy -nay. No, it's fine, because I got something better. I, 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 so I was working on a toilet, and I dropped my wedding ring in there, and I accidentally flushed it. So you're going to leave me, huh? Please? No, boy -nay, I would never leave you. Our love means more to me than just a ring. Uh, are you sure? Because I, I, what if I did it on purpose? No, boy -nay, I wouldn't leave you. <sighs> okay. I love you, boy -nay. I, uh, I'm rather fond of you as well, Kelly. What was that? <laughs> well, that didn't work. Well, I don't mean to rush you, but I really need to get that ring back. Yeah, I might as well get mine too. All right, well, the cool thing about toilets is that there's a pipe in the toilet that goes from the toilet all the way down to the sewer. So all we gotta do is find the ring in the pipes before it gets to the sewer. Like, we just find it in the wall and stop the ring before it reaches the sewer. Well, how are we gonna find that? Well, it should be really easy. I'm really good at this. Come on. All right, so how long ago did you flush the ring? Maybe about three or four minutes ago. Okay, so it should be right around here somewhere. Now, I'm gonna tell you a little plumber secret. This pipe's all up in these walls that carry water from the toilet to the sewer. If you put your ear up to the wall, you can even hear the water rushing through the pipes. I don't hear anything. Yeah, that's because you're not a plumber. You gotta have the plumber's ear. All right, so what I'm listening for is like a little ringing sound. That's the ring bouncing around inside the pipes. So then when I hear it, I can bust open the wall and pull the ring out. Hold on. Oh, 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 I'm hearing a ring here. I mean, I do have tinnitus, but I think this is the ring. Oh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I only have seconds. I gotta hurry. <laughs> There's, there's no pipes in there. What? There's no pipes? Yeah, no pipes in that wall. You, you, you just said you heard running water. I lied. I lied about the pipes. I, I, I just, you know, I made that up. But I mean, how cool would it be if I was right? You know, if I just busted open the wall and ripped out the ring? Right? That'd be... That, that would have been cool, but they, they, they didn't happen. Yeah, but I, I would have been a hero, right? But but it didn't. So, uh... Now there's a hole in my wall. Yeah. So how, I, how am I going to explain that to my dad? I, I don't know. I'm sorry. Um, I'm just I'm just going to go home, and I will, I will send you a bill. Wait, 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 where's the ring? Oh, what's gonna happen? Ugh. Did you find the ring? No! Okay. Hey guys. Oh, did you get a ring from Walmart? Well, I got a ring out of a gumball machine. Your dad's gonna notice it's not the right ring. Yeah, I know. This is dumb. What'd the plumber say? He just busted a hole in my wall with a hammer and then left. Wow, that was helpful. Yeah, but he did say that all the pipes lead to the sewer, so maybe the ring's in the sewer. <sighs> I guess we're just gonna have to go dig through the sewer. You act like that's a bad thing. I do it all the time. Let's go do it. All right, guys, who wants to go in the sewer first? There's so many diseases in there. Hey, guys. Oh, no. Who's this? It's Pangy the Sewer Penguin. What you guys doing here? <sighs> Pangy, we're looking for a ring. Have you seen it in the sewer? Maybe. Cut the crap, Pangy. Have you seen it or not? I'll never tell. Fine. What do you want, Pangy? I know you have it. Hmm. Pangy needs his toes licked. <sighs> you would want that, you sick freak. Wait, why are you guys looking at me? Uh, thanks, Joseph, for getting my mom's ring back. I know Pangy's not easy to deal with. Don't worry about it, dude. I'll lick some toes from my bros. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Well, I'm gonna get this ring back to my mom. 
Oh man, today was a stressful day. I know, dude. Chef Pee Pee died. What? Oh yeah, Chef Pee Pee did die. All right. Uh, careful, careful, dude. Careful, uh, careful, dude. Careful, careful, dude. Careful. Shut up, Joseph. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I got it. Oh, dude, that was so close. I'm so glad we're playing Jenga. Yeah, money Jenga. All right, Richard, it's your turn. Mm, which piece do I want to go for? Oh, this one. Oh, okay, careful. Oh, oh, careful. Oh, oh, careful. Careful. Oh, 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 you lost. Yeah, you lost. Actually, it looks like I'm winning. All right, guys. So, what game do you want to play now? How about hide and seek? Oh, oh let's play hide and seek. Yeah, I'm really good at hide and seek. Okay, dude. okay, I'll be it. All right, Joseph, you and Richard hide. Okay. Oh, okay then. I'm gonna count to ten. One, <laughs> two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Oh, where are they at? All right, guys, I'm gonna find you. Just where are you at? <laughs> are you behind the teddy bear? <laughs> no. <laughs> are you inside that popcorn bucket? <sighs> no. <laughs> Joseph, you're there. Oh, dude, how did you find me? You wouldn't stop laughing. Oh. Darn, I need to shut my mouth. <laughs> oh, yeah, you do. Now I gotta find Richard. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. Richard? <laughs> Cha -ching! Oh, I'm allergic to your poor air! Well, I got you, Richard. All right, Joseph, it's your turn. Oh, man. Okay, dude. Well, who's that? I don't know. Oh, let me see who it is. Okay. Uh, hello? Hey there. I'm here to pick up my son, Richard. Okay. Richard, your dad's here. Oh, thank God. Thanks for picking me up, Dad. It's so poor here. My allergies were acting up. Oh, and by the way, Junior, I accidentally clogged your toilet. Sorry. But you clogged my toilet? Wait, you clogged his toilet? Yeah, I accidentally used too much money when I was wiping. Too much money when you were wiping? You know you're only supposed to use one bill at a time? Show me. All right, right this way. See, Dad? There it is. That's it, mister! You are grounded! Grounded? For what? You know you're only supposed to use one bill when you wipe, and you're wiping like we have endless amounts of money! Which we do, but you need to learn the value of money, so I think you need to get a job! A job? You poor! Yeah, that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna get you a job, and I think you need to work at McDonald's! McDonald's? You poor people food! Now you get over here and let me smack those stupid AirPods out of your stupid head. Come here. Come on. Give me the other side. Come on. All right. You'll get those AirPods back when you've earned them. Now let's go to McDonald's. Welcome to your first day at McDonald's. How you feeling? Poor. Exactly. That's how we all feel until we start making $15 an hour, then we'd be lower middle class. Well, how much am I making now? $8.45 an hour. $845 an hour? That's not too bad. No, 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 my silly white boy. $8.45. Ew, poor. Exactly. Let me show you the food layout. See, we got hamburgers right here, nuggets there, french fries, lettuce, and tomatoes. See, all this stuff was already made yesterday, okay? We just leave it out to give it flavor. And this stuff right here is the stuff people return. See, we just keep passing out the window till somebody accept it. Now let me show you how to make a burger. On a traditional burger, you got meat, cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, and mayonnaise. See, I know that's a lot, but I got a song to help you remember. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. You've got to be kidding me. No, 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 it's very catchy. Come on, sing it with me. First you add the meat, then you add the cheese, don't forget the lettuce, then you add tomatoes, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. I'm not singing that poor song. Do you want to get paid? <sighs> Yeah. Come on, sing it with me. First, First you add the meat, meat then, then you add the cheese. cheese. Don't, Don't forget the lettuce, the lettuce then you add tomatoes. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. Yeah. Ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise. White boy got rhythm. Ketchup, mustard, Ketchup, mustard. Somebody at the drive-thru. Okay, get ready to make a sandwich, and don't forget the song, all right? All right. Oh, uh, hello. I'm ready to order. <sighs> Another one. Hey, hey, don't be throwing bananas in my drive-thru. Uh, I'm ready to order. What you want? Uh, can I get, uh... Drop fresh, a large fry with no salt, also drop fresh with salt packets in the bag, a plain cheeseburger, and an ice cream cone. Ah, uh, ice cream machine, bro. Mm-hmm, of course it is. Well, then in that case, I'll just take Kool-Aid to drink. Man, we don't sell Kool-Aid. We only got high C. Oh, I can see that you high, because your ice cream machine always broke. Look, is that all you want, ma'am? Yeah. All right, your total is 1738. All right, you accept EBT? No. You accept Fool Styles? No. Hmm. 
What the can I get your discount? Look, it's my, it's my discount, ma'am. Look, look, can you please pull up for so we can get your food? I ain't pulling up for it. There ain't nobody behind me. Oh, my God. Look, look, I'll have your food in a minute, ma'am. And they want $15 an hour. Yeah, you slam that window. All right, Rashad, what we have- My name's Richard. Listen, Rashad, I'm trying to teach you something. Look, what we have here is what we call a bad customer. You can tell from a mile away. It's a dead giveaway. You can tell by the, by the color, the color of their car. Their car? Yeah, yeah, she was driving a red car. People who drive red cars are always mad. Something about the color red. But uh, do you know what we do to bad customers? What? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Now she wanted a burger and some nuggets and fries dropped. So can you drop them on the ground and take 10 minutes doing it? She also wanted an ice cream cone, but uh, we always tell the customers that the ice cream machine is broken. To be honest with you, we don't even have an ice cream machine. I don't even know why it's on the menu. But uh, get to making her food and I'll be right back. Okay. All right. What do I do again? Oh, oh yeah, the saw. Uh, something about the meat, then you grab some nuggets, how about some fries, don't forget the tomatoes, uh, ketchup, 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 all right, I'm done. Let me see how you did. Boy, what, what is this? It's a cheeseburger. The song, boy, the song. I sing the song. You got a lot to learn. Let me just wrap this up and give it to her. Okay. What take you so long? Hey, what I told you about throwing bananas in my drive-thru? Look, look, here's your food, ma'am. My food hit the ground. I'ma need you to make me some more. Look, I'm not making another burger for you, lady. Well, I also had nuggets and fries. Look, just have a good day, okay? Let me speak to your manager. I am the manager. All right, then, well, let me speak to the owner. Look, if you want to talk to the owner, how about you call old McDonald himself? He lives on the farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well, I do you one better. I'll call Mayor McCheese. Well, call Mayor McCheese, then. All right, this ain't the last you heard of me, and they want $15. All right, Randy, I want you to work the drive through because I am scripts. How do I do that? Oh, it's super simple. They're going to pull up to the window. You say what real mean because it's inconvenient for you to take their order even though you work here. Now, they're going to give you their order. You make sure you get it wrong because we want them to come back. They're going to say they're not going to come back, but we're McDonald's. We got dollar burgers and we're open 24-7. So uh, go to the window and get to working. My name is Richard. Come on, Randy, just go to the window. <sighs> okay. God. All right, work in the drive-thru. At least I don't have to touch that poor people food. Can I have some food? Ew, did you sneeze on the window? Mm -hmm. I'm hungry. Oh, you're hungry? Well, do you have money? No. Well, then what are you going to give me for food? Tomato. Ew, I don't want your poor tomato. We don't accept tomatoes here. I'm, I'm hungry. Well, shoot, get out of here. Shoot. Ew, poor. Ugh. Raymond, did I just see you spray Windex at one of our customers? Yeah, because he was poor. <sighs> Raymond, Raymond, Raymond. Look, all of our customers are poor. You just can't spray them with Windex, though. How about we have the perfect conversation you're supposed to have at the window? You be the driver, I'll be me. Okay. Boom, 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 boom. In my Lamborghini. Whatever. <sighs> what do you want? Why aren't you at Burger King? Why are you ordering here? Can I get a cheeseburger? A cheeseburger? <sighs> Windex is right down the street. All right, just pull up to the next window. See, it's that simple. See, now, you don't have to spray people with Windex, okay? Yeah, let's forget my order wrong. And you want $15 out. You know what, go, go ahead of the burgers, I got this. Did you just throw something at me? Mm-hmm, I bought a tomato from a homeless man because I ran out of bananas. What do you want from me, lady? I just want my order right because my booger had nuggets and fries on it. Ain't that what you wanted? No, I wanted it all separately. You know what, look, here's your tomato back. All right, scram, lady. Oh, and you want $15? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. $15 an hour. <sighs> All right, Ryan. I don't know how much longer I can work here. Me either. Look, I'm dreaming of bigger and better things. Right? Like working at Chick-fil-A. But see, the customers here, it's so annoying. And poor. That too. <sighs> oh, another one. You won't. And can you please stop honking your horn? Hey, I stole my dang's car because he wouldn't bring me to get a Happy Meal. Cool, cool, cool. What do you want? Uh, can I get a cheeseburger Happy Meal with three toys? Uh, the Happy Meal only come with one toy. Well, I want three toys. You only getting one toy. How about three toys? It comes with one toy. Three toys! One toy! Three toys! Okay! 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 <laughs> All right, Ryan.
Bobby. We got another bad customer at the drive-thru. You know how I knew? Because of the color of the car? Exactly. The color of the car was red, so you knew he's gonna be mean. And he wanted a Happy Meal with three toys. Look, this ain't Toys R Us. I'm not giving him all them toys. You know what we're gonna do to his food? We're gonna spit in the food? Bingo. You learn it, Robbie. Okay, so uh, fix the food and remember the song, okay? Okay. All right, the song. Uh, sometimes there's meat, bunch of bunch of cheese, lot of lot of lettuce, uh, a couple chicken nuggets, maybe a few tomatoes, um, ketchup, 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 maybe the whole thing. Uh, mustard, 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 mustard. Uh, okay, that looks good. All right, it's ready. Let me check the Happy Meal and see how you did. Wait, Rachel, you're not supposed to give them all the ketchup and mustard. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it's okay, it's okay. Uh, let me get them a drink. Yeah. Where's my Happy Meal? Oh, here's your Happy Meal with the three toys. Oh, thank you. You're not welcome. Uh. All right, Rufus. I'm going to end your shift early today since it's your first day. What does that mean? That means you get to go home. Oh, thank God. Charge, come pick me up in the helicopter. All right, I'm going to get your check, and then you can go home, okay? How much money did I make? Well, you only worked for like 10 minutes, so uh, you made about 75 cents. Ew, poor. <laughs> Welcome to the club. Oh, Dad, I'm back from work. <laughs> Wait a minute. Ew, you smell poor. I know, but I got paid. Hold on, let me see that. 75 cents. Congratulations, you've made enough money to buy three gumballs. Oh, Dad, I have a confession to make. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to work at poor restaurants anymore. And, and I'll even wipe my butt with 20s. Listen, son, you don't have to wipe your butt with 20s. That would be a disgrace to the Goodman name. We only wipe our butts with hundreds. But the fact that you said that you would wipe your butt with 20s shows that you appreciate money now. So let's go home and get out of this weird poor person's house. Oh, thank you, Dad. I love you so much. I love you too, son. Let's